How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Hope you're all doing well. It's time for some uh, Age of Empires. Had some stuff I had to take care of this morning, so a little bit of a later stream, but, uh, you know, hopefully you guys are good to go. So the big Golden League uh, Grand Finals are going on today. I was watching that a little bit while I was out on the uh, road there. Certainly some great games, if you guys want to check that out. It's over on Elite Gaming Channel, but we're going to be doing some uh, 1v1s, mostly Delhi. I've been playing Delhi and uh, trying to climb up in Diamond. We're actually making a little bit of progress towards Diamond 2. Uh, that would be a pretty cool goal to have, for sure, Diamond 2. And I guess it's only another 30 points up to ye old Diamond 3. I actually ended up playing a really high-level Conqueror player last night, just getting absolutely smashed. Oh my goodness. There there are levels to this stuff, for sure. <clears throat> so Daniel asking, uh, if I'm Bronze 3, almost Silver 1, is it okay to join the FFA? If you were unranked and had never played a game of M Age of Empires before, I would be more than happy for you to jump into the FFA games. Anyone's welcome to join. It's just first come, first serve. Yeah, so basically uh, somebody hosts a lobby and you just got to find it. It's kind of kind of the Wild West, to be honest, because lobbies and matchmaking and not matchmaking, but lobbies are a little bit weird in this. Like I can't host it as the ho spectator host. So somebody else has to host it and then they have to be on my friends list and I have to spectate through them. So it's, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah, welcome. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. It's going to be good. Do we go straight into the sweat? Am I ready? Am I warmed up? I feel like I am. I mean, I haven't played any games today, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling alert, feeling sharp. Let's get in there and lose the game real quick, and then we can win from there. It's going to be awesome. Normally, of course, we do a team game as a warm-up. Oh, God. Oh, the yawns. I tried to get an AoE, too. Made me appreciate the... Uh... Yeah, the older games are always more difficult, for sure. Like... With old RTS games, whether it be, you know, the original StarCraft or, you know, Warcraft 2, Tides of Darkness, or, you know, even the first one, it's more so you versus the game in many ways. Like, overcoming really counterintuitive, difficult mechanics just to, like, be efficient at the game. That's really a big part of it, right? So, when you're playing those older ones where sometimes you can't have control groups or you have to manually just be going to each building to build units, that's a big part of it for sure. Yeah, we just started. We just started right now. 100%. Could even do a team game to open up. I don't know. We'll see. We're already we're already queued up for the rank, so I think it's time to just suffer. Out of curiosity, is there any interest in an AoE 3 stream? No, not really. No, I never played Age of Empires 3, and uh, yeah, I wouldn't have any interest in that, I don't think. I don't think I would have any interest. Never played it, though. Um, I know there was a individual who used to cover it a lot. I think it was the uh, the, the caster streamer guy, Aussie, Aussie Drongo, I think is his name. I think he used to cover that game a lot, but when Age of Empires 4 came out, I think he stopped completely. Uh, I, I don't know. I haven't seen too many people playing it, so. But it's cool that it's still getting updates and whatnot. That's pretty rad. Um, Deli, Deli Shop today? Yeah, we're going to be going to the Deli Shop for sure. Even in some FFA games, we'll be we'll be playing a little bit of Deli as well. You know what? Let's actually open up with a community game. I think that'd be fun. So, hold on. Is it still searching? Oh, okay. It looks like I found a game. I was about to open up or cancel and, and go for that, but we're going to play Deli here. Facing off against the dreaded, I have no idea how to say his name, but uh, yeah, it looks great. He's got a really good record. Holy shit, he's... How is he How is he Platinum 2 with that kind of a record? 17 and 7. That's pretty damn good. It looks like he must have um, he must have not done super well in placement games and then just came back and, and karate chopped after that. Well, pretty cool. It's going to be fun. A couple of weeks ago when you got Mongol Tower Rushed, I'm pretty sure that was uh, Snoopa. He was doing a series getting diamond by building villagers and static defenses. Oh, is that the one that we ended up winning? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. <clears throat> That's pretty funny, yeah. I've seen him. I do watch his stream sometimes. He's uh, seems to be a pretty good player. Definitely better than myself. I think he's like conquer level. I am I am but a draw. I am but a, a diamond. We're we're gate we're gatekeeping diamond. Eventually we'll be gatekeeping diamond too. That's gonna be the game plan. Alright, so first things first, we want to go get the berry bushes with these guys and go scouting. And I did not see what faction he was playing. I was looking at chat. All right, let's send you guys up there and just kind of start going around to deny the sheep from our opponent. So this build, I uh, usually like to go for lumber, although it's a little bit of a risky lumber position, but it should be okay. Yeah, you're grinding a, grinding some magic arena, huh? It's a fun game. Definitely a fun game. Oops, kind of screwed that up. No problem. We're going to go back here a little bit, kind of consolidate our resources. This is obviously nice, but yeah, this little patch team is good. What, what is he playing? He's playing uh, the Abbasid. Okay. So Bassett usually are just kind of like eco. 
Got to get all our upgrades queued up when we finish that. Very, very important stuff. <clears throat> There's a sheep over here I kind of missed. Get another scout. On maps like this, uh, having a second scout is very good. He is the Abbasid. I, I actually, Abbasid is one of my favorite civs to play against. I uh, always have a good time with it for sure. Okay, so we're going to get our second scout. Mainly, I just want to find all the sacred sites because, you know, that's what Delhi does, right? We And I, I hit Lumber a little bit harder in the beginning just so I can build my, uh, my mosque. And then I switch on over to gold after that. So, all right, let's pull you over here. Perfect. We'll start gathering some gold. This is one of my least favorite maps. Like, I, I absolutely hate High View. I don't know. It's just, uh, yeah. I don't like all the stealth forest. It's just, I don't know. I don't have fun with it. Some people might like it. Like the haggard ambushes and all the kind of stuff you can get going there, but good. Okay, our build order seems fine now. Usually I screw something up pretty bad in the first game, but I'm, I'm happy we didn't. There's probably a sacred site in each of these uh, opposing corners, is what I would wager. So we've got the wheelbarrow coming, we have the forestry coming, and then we're going to be getting the uh, the piety action. We get the upgrade for the Delhi Scholar to make him tankier, so then when we're contesting sacred sites, it's much harder to actually snipe him and finish him off. It's been, it's been pretty cool. All right, so let's just kind of creep through there. Okay, so he's just he's just owning me on sheep. He just, he just found, like... And the sheep thing kind of is a little bit of luck. It's just RNG, depending on which direction you go. There are, like, some consistent patterns. All right, so let's go here and then over here. Looks good. And uh, we can... Three on gold is probably enough for now. Ooh, he's getting a little bit danger close. We've been scouted. Well, at least we know where two of the sacred sites are. The other one's going to be in that corner right there. And perfect. So let's grab you. And have you as our spot where you can get all three of these. Not quite. Okay, so let's go here. Alrighty. Almost to the next age. This build is a little bit slower to getting to a feudal because of the uh, because of the, the mosque. Like the timing of that. But really isn't too much of a big deal. Yeah, call, jung call it missing when the jungler is missing. Yeah, there's, there's certainly some jungler action going on here. Okay, pretty close to attacking. Yeah, look, we actually found a, a sheep back there. So we just need to basically see if the Abbasid player is going to be getting, and we want to get piety first. Efficient production is pretty good, but against, you know, Abbasid, I'm, I'm not terribly worried about that, right? All right, let's creep behind his base. We found the other sacred site, so we kind of know what's going on. We have good scouting of the map, at least, so that's that's one thing that's been going well for us here. Okay, one more worker, and then we'll uh, we'll tech up, and we'll, we'll go pretty hard here. Okay, let's bring you guys in, turn to the food, turn to the food, and where's the Dome of Faith? Let's go. Great, so now we can pull, we don't need that many on gold, we only need enough on gold to build scholars. So usually for me, two is enough there. And we want to get to the second age pretty quickly too. Have you seen the advanced game settings mod? Uh, no, I have no idea what that is. We're going to go do a little bit of poke and harass, say hello. Okay, so let's go after this. We're going to bring some battle sheep with us, too. Obviously, very important stuff. Ah, but his TC can reach pretty damn far. Okay. So he's able to kind of range us there, which is unfortunate. All right, let's go see if he's getting stoned. That's what we really need to see. So we're going to kind of creep around here. Yeah, we got the house coming up, so... Wouldn't be the Lord of Supply Block if I wasn't getting Supply Blocked a little bit. Yeah, Bassett are a really cool sieve. I really like them a lot. Uh, let's take you out here. Start setting up a tower. So that's usually what we do, is we build towers on all the sacred sites. Just get a little bit aggressive there. All right, so he's looking for us, it's fine. We do not care. If he wants to chase these guys around, then that's uh, certainly better for us. We don't need much food right now. It's mainly um, mainly a wood focus. Because if the scouts are busy chasing my scouts instead of actually doing effective things, then um, yeah, I'm down. Okay, one on gold, and yeah, okay. So he's he is going for it. So let's keep guys here, you guys here. And uh, what we want to do now is get a stables, actually. Just for some map control and a little bit of harass. And we should have enough wood here in a minute. Okay. So it looks like he turned around with just one scout. So we'll head back this direction now. And we need to go ahead and get Sanctity and Efficient Production. It was a little bit off on that. Should have done it right away. Battle the Dread Wolf. Yeah, he'll be expanding here in a second. Oh, looks like you did not do that. Okay, no problem. Hopefully homegirl's able to get this tower up without getting karate chopped here. See, he's he's checking the sacred sites right now. But I just need to make sure that I, I get those. All right, let's grab two or three is even fine. Have you guys turn in and then head on over to stone. We know he's expanding now. So we just we just play our sacred site game and that's that. You know, that, and then we're cozy. Okay, can we get a wood turn in, please? Thank you. 
We'll get some stone too. He might actually think it's like something else. Oh man, there's just a random villager here. Okay, shit. Where did he come from? Well, all right, let's go turn in our sheep here. Omi's getting a little bit danger close there. And you, buddy, can start building a tower here. Great. So, oh man, I totally forgot to build scholars from the Gem of Faith. See, that's a that's a pretty big blunder there, guys. Pretty pretty big blunder. First game of the day, but you know, it's okay. Got to get warmed up somehow. All right, so let's head back to the middle. It's fine. It's not like horrible, but that definitely is going to set us back a little bit. Okay, let's cancel a couple of you guys. Get some horsemen coming out, which he's going to be very aware of now. And you can head back to the base. Go jump in the very bushes. And you can come over here. Hell is this shit? Oh, it's just a scout. Okay. It is the dreaded scout. So we could just get a horseman on this guy. Horseman can uh, chase these guys down pretty hardcore. Okay, so he's found our, our villa here. Okay, let's get you over here. So he probably thinks some sort of a weird tower rush is coming, I would imagine. That would be my guess. All right, so let's get this. Start getting some upgrades. Horseman should be able to get the kill there, and we'll have you stand and fight. And let's get arrow slits and arrow slits here when we can. Yeah, Dome of Faith is still doing its thing. Look at the Chad villager just going like a champ. Did we actually lose him in the woods? I think we did. All right, so let's head down there. He's he's certainly the alarm bells are going to be going off now a little bit in his head, if he if he knows what's good for him here. All right, so we got a little bit of time before those guys finish. Let's go in and karate shop this guy. We can run you over here. And we almost got him. So you, buddy, can start building a tower there. Okay, Spearman, yeah. That's, that's of course, expected. Not going to matter too much here. So let's grab you, Scholars. Send you one to the middle. And then one of you guys can go out here. And then we can kind of fan out from there. Hopefully we get this tower up. Probably won't. I would wager he's going to be pretty ready for it. All right, so let's get the melee defense and the arrows. The deli shop is is in full effect. Abbasid can make rams though. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna shut that shit down. Let's see if we can come get a scout at least for our efforts. All right, let's get the scouts. I think we're gonna get one scout here. Nice. Okay, so we have two sacreds being captured at the moment, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the other one is going to be very t difficult for sure. Okay, 20. F you guys finish that. Let's get you on the deer camps out here. And uh, now we can do one and one. Have you guys come here and then down here. Now we just kind of, we don't even need to have anyone on gold at this point. It's actually kind of a waste, believe it or not. All right, so how are the Jum of Faith doing? Let's fill those bad boys up. Let's make some archers. And once we actually get the sacred sites, yeah. See, he's, he's trying to deny it, but he's just going to lose units. All right, buddy. You go hide in the bushes over here. And just rally units down. So I would expect a battering ram push to come right now. Our whole plan is to kind of go castle age now. And these guys are going to creep and try and finish this tower because he's not putting any respect on its name. Make a stone tower here and make a stone tower here. Of course, the wolves have been conscripted by our enemies. Uh, we don't need as much wood now, so let's just go gather berry bushes where we can. We just need to start playing for castle now. We, we have more than enough wood. That's what she said. Uh, cool. So now we just mass archers. Yeah, see, he's got his spearmen here, which is cool. Oh man, I've, I've got an off rally point. That's really annoying. My fault, of course, but... Um, yeah, you guys just go jump on wood. Or food, excuse me. Oh, he's gonna let us get that tower up there. Okay, that's pretty that's pretty cheeky. I'll take that. We're gonna get off stone soon too as well. Although compound of the defender is pretty good. It is pretty darn good. So this one mosque is getting filled up. We'll press we'll press towards his base soon. We need to kind of see what he's up to. Oh, a battering ram already. Okay, geez. And uh we got you guys. Let's get this wolf. And see what this looks like. Alright, so he's got mostly spearmen. Which we do have some answers to. Okay, let's see if we can take this down. We do have villagers nearby as well to pull if need be. Okay. Archers, blast them. You guys come repair the tower. Let's get you. We just need to keep archers queued up. We're repairing the stone tower and he's, he's definitely losing a lot here. 
I don't even need a micro really, to be honest. I have all the sacred sites. Okay, get that one upgraded. Of course, supply block right in a very important battle. That's pretty rough for him. Yeah, he gave up. Still got it, baby! Woo! Deli shop. That's what's going on. All right. Yeah, because we we had all three sacreds. We killed his army. We denied his battering ram push. And uh, yeah, we got it. We got it. Yeah, look at that. He didn't even get his. Oh shit! He went triple stable. Interesting. Why would you go triple stable? I guess to counter the archer trip switch would have been very smart, but um, I don't think he had the economy to support that. He had 11 and 11, yeah. So triple stable is a lot of production, a lot of food. I don't think he could have produced enough horsemen to actually make an impact. Plus his battering ram was about to get shut down. We could easily switch to spear too. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't an early... I, I do think the game was actually over at that point because we had all three sacreds fortified with like stone towers. Um, he did decap that middle sacred, but he lost a lot. And we were about to probably go castle if you look at it. We have a lot of gold and we didn't even need to mine any gold. Yeah. The deli, the deli shop, baby. Yeah, look at that. Plus 15. Okay. We did it. Why stream on YouTube over Twitch? Uh, I prefer the community here on YouTube. Yeah. Like, YouTube's been my home for many years, and uh, I, I know there's some suboptimal aspects to streaming. Like, Twitch streamers typically grow and get bigger numbers quicker because of, like, rating and cross-promotion and things like that. But I honestly just prefer the community and, you know, all of you guys here on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know, man. Zoomer only plays 10-minute games, yeah. Yeah, kind of. I don't know. Yeah, GG. All right, let's uh, let's go for another battle deli here. Conquer, let's go, baby. I, I don't think so, but we'll, we'll at least be diamond, so that's good. Yeah, it would have been hard for him to come back. Not impossible. You know what? I actually think the fact that he went triple stables might have ruined his day there. Because then he didn't have enough wood to expand, and he, he spent all that time mining stone. So there's like a ton of inefficiencies in the build that just add up. Did you ever play Age of Mythology? Uh, no, I didn't. No. I did not play Age of Mythology. Although I heard it's quite awesome for sure. Be down to give it a try sometime, perhaps. But yeah, any new RTS games that are you know somewhat decent, I'm more than happy to cover on the channel. That's my jam. So... I don't know, do we want to do a team game next or uh, FFA? I think one more uh, ranked game would be good. Yeah, playing against Delhi is great though. Like the one Civ I hate playing against is French. Oh god, I hate playing against French. Just the how strong their early knights are and just like the French knight archer all in, it's really hard to stop. I mean, if you were to change, you might lose a lot of viewers, although I'd imagine most wouldn't mind the switch. Yeah. Turn it to go to Total War Match Commentator. And yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate that, Dusty. All right, so we're on Mongolian Heights, and yeah, we're just going to go Delhi. We have our, our man here is the Dreadlord of Platinum 3. Oh, he must be very close to getting uh, to getting Diamond, it looks like. Oh, he dodged us. Oh, come on, man. He probably dodged because he didn't like Mongolian Heights. People still dodge in ranked. So there's got to be some sort of a penalty for that. I actually don't know how to play China, really. Before you do your FFAs, you got to check out the... I, yeah, Blake, maybe message me in Discord with what that is, and I'll take a look. I think Turin would be huge on Twitch. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've, I've heard that before. I've, I've had tons of people, including close friends and other, you know, Twitch people tell me I should stream on Twitch, but I don't know, man. I just like YouTube. I enjoy it. It's all in one convenient place, one package, which of course is terrible, like investing everything in one place. But, uh, you know. Yeah, we got the, we got the old dodge there, guys. I hate fighting English. I don't mind facing English as much. Because most English players don't longbow all in anymore. They actually just like castle age and then just like overwhelm you with trebuchets and imperial. Which I, I am a, I'm a Delhi guy. So with Delhi, I, I force the I force the fights in the uh, feudal age. And if they don't like deal with it, you know, they're going to have some problems. The dreaded gatekeeper, I know. It, it is I. We, we, just, we just kept one guy out of, uh, out of Diamond League. So our gatekeeping mission has been successful so far. Yeah, Vlad, I guess I could multi-stream. I guess I could. <laughs> I thought about doing like Twitch, like streaming on Twitch for different games, like things that aren't really focused on the mainstay of the channel, like what we did last night, like Evil Dead and, you know, all that sort of fun stuff. Hmm. You like it when people stream on YouTube because I can stream it off on uh, on your on your app there. Oh, that's nice. And you can't do Twitch on there. Yeah, I really don't mind facing English. 
I mean, yeah, if you let it get Imperial Age, they're usually going to win because they can just build a million towers and overwhelm you with trebuchets that have like 50% attack speed and it's just like bananas. And they also, their, their trebuchets become like mangonels in a way. So it's very tough. All right, Arabia, my least favorite map, actually. We're facing the dreaded Reuben. All right, good luck to Reuben, man. See what he's got. Arabia's here. You, you guys know the game plan. Uh, Twitch allows multi-stream. So yeah, you can... You can stream on YouTube and on Twitch, if uh, unless you're a Twitch partner. So if I were to go like stream on Twitch right now, unless I like, I would be an affiliate probably. Although I could probably get a special deal with them since I already stream on YouTube or whatever. But um, I would be an affiliate. They don't care if affiliates dual stream, but if you become an official Twitch partner, which gives you a better uh, revenue share, then um, then you can't. You're not supposed to do that. But I heard someone was telling me that on Twitch they're getting rid of the uh, of that feature. Elephant Rush, I, you know, if if when I get Castle Age, I usually do build a couple Dumbos. I don't go all in on them, but I'll build like two. You know, that's usually my game plan, so. All right. All right, let's do this. Cool, let's get the sheep, and then one of you guys can come in here. Probably my least favorite thing to play that just makes me, like, hate what I'm doing is, is Tower Rushes. I think Tower Rushes are just so dumb. I mean, it's it's sh it shouldn't be like as effective as as it is. When you watch like actually high, a lot of higher level play, tower rushes are actually really good. That's that's my one kind of thing with this game that I'm not like in love with is the tower rush. But granted, it doesn't happen to me super often. But Delhi is very vulnerable to tower rush in my experience. But um, English English is not a tower rushing sieve like at all. So like usually Mongols, China China can tower rush you pretty good because they they get the hand cannon emplacements, which are like quite quite thunderous in terms of the damage they do. All right, so let's uh, set this up. Got all the upgrades coming along. So we need to, to get enough for the mosque and then we switch. Yeah, that will, you look, even if I were to ever decide to do some Twitch streaming, I would just upload the streams to YouTube as well. So it'd be the same thing basically, but yeah, I prefer to do it on YouTube right now. Man, we're, you know, we're actually having a good cheap haul and that is important. Sometimes your berry bushes can get denied and you're like forced back into your base, right? And if you don't have the proper uh, proper setup for it, you you can run into some serious issues. Twitch uh, affiliates can't legally multi-stream. Oh, okay, interesting. Got it. Well, you see, I, that shows how much I know. All right, so let's set you up, and we're gonna go ahead and move you over here. Set you up out there, and probably build a second scout. What are we playing? English? Yeah. So we can't really harass them, but still, I like to double scouts are very important, not for necessarily getting more sheep, which of course is one of the main perks, but for also, um, also like winning the duels on sacred sites early and making sure you can get control of the, over all that stuff, right? So that's pretty big. Okay, so let's have you turn in. Uh, let's go get on our gold up here. We have found the dreaded English base. And let's go ahead and get piety and efficient production. And we have our first scout, which makes the, the horseman sound, which is always a little bit. Where the hell are all the sacred sites right now? How does one get to the Discord? If you just go to totaltavern.com, which is my Warhammer website, um, you're gonna you're gonna find a link at the top there. It should be in the description, or one of the mods can hook you up in chat. One or the other. Okay, so one sacred site has been discovered. It's a little bit too close to his base. Okay, there's one close to us, which is nice. So let's go check the corner now and see what we can find. And yeah, we're on our way to castle, or excuse me, feudal. Come, my precious. Yeah, thank you guys all for joining. It's going to be a fun one today. It's going to be a fun one. I was watching the Golden League matches when I was uh, out and about today. Pretty pretty fun matches for sure. Good games. Great casting by uh, by the folks as well. Okay. How are we looking on food? Yeah, pretty close to getting there. Okay. So we need to find the last sacred site. Is it actually over here? No. Wow. That's a... Okay. Interesting sacred placement. So let's go take the uh, sheep back to the base, and then you, buddy, can be our new main scout, and we'll just kind of start seeing what's up. Very, very close to getting there. All right, we're looking. Piety is on its way. We're finding more battle sheep, which is awesome. And we are going to need another house here in a second. All right, let's grab a bunch of you guys. We can start building the Jum of Faith. Hopefully this time I won't produce, uh, forget to produce my scholars. I just love the Haggard early Sacred Side duels. It's just, I don't know what it is that I enjoy so much about it. Just like getting to use towers in that way. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just it's just really fun. All right, so now we pull you guys. 
Uh, we have enough gold bank to build a couple of scholars, so we'll just leave homeboy on there. He can go sit out front of the English base, and the other one can go around the back, and we're going pretty hard to the second age. Yeah, we got piety done, which is excellent. And uh, let's get you on gold. We need at least two on gold for now. I wonder what he's going to do. I wonder what he's going to do. We'll have to find out. So we know where all the sacreds are. Uh, we can start kind of planning a little bit for that. So let's head up here to this one and just set up a lovely tower. Is she actually going? Okay, she is. And uh, we can loop around, get our scouts together. I mean, if, if we can even stop a little bit of mining time, it's probably worth. Wouldn't it be cool to see the uh, the wild landmark, the Abbey of Kings? You know, people actually do use that in FFA matches. It's, it's, not, a, it's not a conspiracy theory there. So first things first, we get a stable. Uh, not only are they good against Longbowmen, but they also give us map control, which is uh, one of the key kind of things in this build. Okay, let's get a bunch of you guys heading down to wood. Attack some English villagers. And now we need to go ahead and get the Sanctity, so switch the order of those units and get this going too. Wow, we got we got a really big jump on them in terms of, uh, in terms of the tech, which is actually a huge advantage. Usually English players stack really quickly, but oh, that's right. The English meta right now is like Farmville. Yeah, they all just go for the Farmville build. Okay, so this might actually be a nice like punish against that potentially. You know, I, I kind of like where we're going with this. It's great. Denying a little bit of English golds. Yeah, so we see he's quite a ways off here and then we are able to deny his gold. So let's start torching this in the meantime. Let's you get you over here, buddy. Man, is he going to let us get all these towers set up? I sure hope so. That'd be pretty sweet. We need to grab a couple of you guys now, as you've seen in our build, and we switch on over to stone. Excellent. Let's get you back to the base. A uh, little bit more. Stables is coming up. But he's going to get to Castle Age very quickly, though. That's uh, one thing we got to watch out for. All right, so we got all our upgrades queued up. Outstanding. Set up a house. Get back here. Get a horseman out. Now, look at that. All right, so Sanctity is on the way. Zoma of Faith is producing uh, plenty of scholars. Now we have enough scholars where we don't need any gold anymore, so we can just focus on food. Ah, look at this. We're like the Mongols, dude. We're raiding. He's going to have his council hall. Maybe we'll be able to force some uh, force some units out there. Let's get you down here. Yeah, we actually got it on fire. I would imagine some long women will be out very soon. All right, nice, nice. Okay, go after these guys. Get one more horseman coming out. Uh-oh, the dreaded longbows have arrived. He must be privy to my schemes. I would imagine he he probably has some sort of an idea of what's about to happen here. Oh, that's right. We need a little bit of gold for the tower upgrades. I always forget that. Okay, so how close are we on the sanctity? Um, usually I send them out at about 30 seconds, give or take. That's That's my game plan. Okay, let's go chill out front of his base. We've got three scholars. Let's pull you guys back. Get another upgrade here. And then we can also start getting the uh, blacksmith upgrade. Against English, that's like turbo important. Let's grab you guys. One of you guys go here. One of you goes here. And one of you goes down here and then up here. No, oh, hello. Okay, wow, he's building a shit ton of long women. Okay, so I got to put some respect on their names. At least I have the arrow defenses coming up, so that'll be make those places pretty independent. Yeah, a little bit of a miss micro on one of my horsemen, but not the end of the world. Okay, so in order to prevent raiding, let's go ahead and get some walls here. Let's get the armor upgrade and Dome of Faith uh, can produce more scholars here in a minute. This is really, yeah, this is really a fun way to play though, for sure. So we'll switch off wood in a minute once we get all our towers up. We do want to upgrade them to stone, though. So now we have the, the triple cap. Okay, one worker chilling in the base for some reason. I don't know why. But let's cut some of you guys and have you switch on over to the sheep. He's going to come out, come in like a wrecking ball here in a minute, I would imagine. Ah, did we not capture that? Oh, okay. A little bit of a mistake there. Forgot to get the third one. It's okay. Not a huge deal. All right, let's get a house here. Dome of Faith can fill this up. We have the arrow towers now, so he's going to have to come in with some force. And what I do is I usually just garrison the scholars in the tower afterwards, and then they can, like, pop out and do whatever. Um, do we have more berry bushes nearby? We do. He could just be going fast castle, which I would wager is actually going to be his plan. So we need to uh, we need to do that, too. 
Probably get some archery ranges. Oh wow, is he going for it? He is. Look at this. That's some serious aggression. Uh, these are spearmen, so we need to kill the spearmen. So it just kind of like occupies attention. Let's grab a couple of you guys, come over and repair this. Okay, let's like loop around this way. Yeah, he's gonna decap it, but as long as he's making military, he's not going castle. So like, we're not trying to win necessarily with the sacred sites, right? Like that is not our, uh, our business here. Let's go ahead and make a couple archer ranges. All right, he's taking, he's taking some serious damage. And if we can like maintain this, let's repair this. Actually, we could just garrison you guys for now. And he's definitely not going to be able to stop that. Okay, let's go get you guys up here. Yeah, so he's forced back and he actually took considerable losses. So did we though, but... Alright, so now we upgrade to stone. Uh, let's get the scholar in here. And is he trying to do the same thing down there? Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, damn. A little bit of sloppy control, but not the end of the world. Alright, let's get the scholar. Villagers can go and just work some food source around the map so we can get you over here. Because now we're just getting a shit ton of free gold, which is just nuts. And uh, do we have enough to upgrade this to stone? Okay, he is going to decap that, but it's whatever. We still have the other two, right? Okay, so let's go Jelly Archers. We don't have enough on wood at the moment, so we need to definitely switch some guys back to wood. And yeah, I mean, he's just losing a bunch of units, which is huge for us. And I think I got all the appropriate upgrades as I attacked. Yeah, we did. Cool. We're about to get the armor upgrade, too. So what we'll do is we'll just go back down here and recap this in like just a hot minute here. Just need to get some archers out. Grab a couple of you guys, switch to lumber. Seems to be going good. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done his thing. So let's get this scholar. He can come down here and then down here and then up here like so. And we can upgrade this to stone. A little bit of a haggard harass coming in here. So let's see if we can take this guy down. Yeah, he's trying to block so he can get in here. That's actually very strong. If he's able to get in there, that's going to suck pretty bad. I don't think he will, though. I don't think he will. All right. Looks great. So, yeah, we're going to get a Scholar up there. Let's go ahead and upgrade this one to Stone, too. I think we can actually just straight up go Castle. Yeah, it looks like we can. All right, so let's go for the uh, House of Learn... Uh, Compound of the Defender, actually, is way more fun. All right, so let's get you guys back in the base. And we need to get a marketplace. And yeah, we're going to get the sacreds again. This guy's going to just hustle over and grab this and, you know, whatever attack he wants to kind of throw at us here. We should be, should be okay. Yeah, we got all the walls. Feeling pretty good. All right, so let's get you guys hotkeyed here. We definitely have a couple of vulnerabilities out on the map, like places he could raid, but homie's going to realize pretty quick here that he's got to, he's got to deal with the, the threat at hand, which is the sacred. Okay, what does his army look like here? Well, you don't need you guys on gold, so let's get you down here. How good is this army? Let's see. So just like a little vanguard force. Oh, wow, that army actually sucks. All right, so let's just run these guys over. Perfect, so that's a freebie. He's gathering more forces out here, but we are about to be in the uh, in the old castle age, which is gonna be big. So what we do now is we just switch to men at arms. We wipe that army out. Archers, come over here. And uh, let's get you guys. And uh, I think we can get efficient production going, too. Should have been producing more scholars. He's got his own little outpost coming up there. All right, so first things first, when you hit Castle Age with Delhi, you want to get all your uh, your eco upgrades. So all those guys are coming along. We can jump these guys, get them back on food. Scholars jump out, put them in the barracks over here, and then we just start making men-at-arms and just pressing. And also, we need to grab relics. De with Delhi, there's so many like random little things you need to do. So bring this here and here. And do we have a scholar down here? We do. He can grab this one and come back up to the to the base here. Cool. What I also like to do with Delhi here is go for a second TC. Which I think is quite good. Oh, he's got a battering ram. Oh, look at this madman. Okay, well, that's that's neat. So yeah, we just let him cap this and then we just push him off here in a minute. Let's run down here and then back to the base. The stone tower is trying its best to hold. Got to make sure we don't lose this. And then you guys can just set up another TC here. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna push us back here. We don't have a critical mass yet. He's actually got a big army. All right, so we got the house up. Build another one and then jump here. Yeah, it's totally fine. He can have that. Because we're, we're going to have two ranged upgrades here very soon. Uh, let's actually put you guys like out right here. Great. 
Yeah, so second TC is going to focus on gathering stone, and now we just push into the English base, and like he's got mostly, you know, potato age units, right? So we're not we're not too concerned about that. Let's get a stone tower here. Second TC is coming up. Got the ranged upgrades jamming nice and good. All right, so now we just go push him, like hardcore. Get you guys, uh, drop this off here, garrison you. Start gathering stone, because now we can do one of my favorite things in the game, which is using compound of the defender. It's just so good and tasty. Yeah, one horseman's going to pay the troll toll, but he's going to have to just straight up run from us here. And uh, let's get you guys out. Have you go do this. I don't even need to look at the army, because I know it's just chasing him. Oh, he's actually fighting it? Holy shit, why is he fighting this? The men at arms are just going to massacre his spearmen, and they have they almost have two armor upgrades. So in melee, they're going to take next to nothing. Yeah, I don't even need to like look at this battle. You can see it's just going well. Okay, let's just keep chasing now and just go after you guys. And what we can do in the meantime, have one of the scholars come back, do this. And once we have enough stone, let's pull you guys down. Set up some towers there. Just chase down the English player and, you know. Yeah, he's going to decap a couple. It is what it is. I mean, hey, I'm happy. If he's making battering rams, that's less uh, less actual good things he's having to make, right? Or he is making. Okay, let's do this. And then you guys can go ahead and set up more of these. One, two, three, four. And you, buddy, can drop this off here. All right, let's get a couple men at arms chasing. So now we just keep pouring pouring it on him because we basically have infinite gold, right? Which is just super strong. A couple men at arms can torch this down. It's luring us into his base. It's fine. We're chasing down. We're really diminishing his numbers pretty hardcore. Okay. You guys need to go find a food source. Let's get you up on the deer. We muster here. So we do this. We got some spring all towers coming. Yeah, he just got castle age, but I think we're I think we're in a pretty substantial lead now. All right, that was good. That was definitely good. His men at arms are a little bit better than ours though, so we have to put some respect on their names for sure. Um, here, what we could do is we could set up a keep. Let's make sure he can't get that position. And how many relics do we have at the moment? We have three. There's still two on the map, so we need we, we definitely want to get those. Because, yeah, we don't want to let him get that shit. All right. Do this. We need to switch to some farms now, because our food is going to start becoming a little bit sparse. Looks good. Looking good. And now now we just kind of, like, try and get map control, right? That's, that's the plan. He's going to probably switch into some sort of a crossbow-type unit, I would wager. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, it keeps coming up, which is awesome. So what we'll do next is we'll just go power mine this shit. And did it keep finish? It did. Uh, what you need to do next to keeps though is build a mosque to get them within the influence, right? All right, seems good. Seems good to me. Seems good to me so far. Um, do we have any scholars that are chilling out? We do. So you guys go. One of you can go there, and one of you can go uh, grab this one and pull it back. And get you in here, and you in here. Great. All right, so the research is coming along, albeit very slowly. You can get it a second blacksmith just to speed things up a little bit. We have a little raid, although I think just securing our middle position here is going to be a more important. He's probably going to go, oh, look at this. There's a wild-ass battering ram over here. Okay, well, let's take that out. Okay, let's build a tower there. He, he's looking like he might want to get aggressive. All right, let's get some Dumbos out. And now it's time for Dumbo. You guys wanted the Dumbo, and he he will he will ride in on the sunset here. Uh, do we have any more berry bushes around? We do actually have some down here. All right, let's go grab those before we uh, devolve into spending everything we got in our base. Our food isn't great. That's definitely one of our weak points here. Okay, let's do this. Get you guys there. Build a second Dumbo. Just build a random house up here. Yes, yeah, so we're basically getting all five relics. And our research is going fine. So Delhi's late game is very weak. England is exponentially better, but I think if we just get enough of an advantage on the map, it's not going to matter. All right, um, how do we want to do this? So we got a lot of stone at the moment. Let's go ahead and start doing this. And start like preparing for like a sacred a sacred strangle. Unfortunately, stone towers build a lot slower than they used to, that's for sure, but it's a lot of stone we're getting here. It is a lot of stone. 
Okay, let's set you up here. You guys come in. We got the 2TC, so that's good. Yes, give me that relic. And perfect. So I think he managed to get one relic. It's, it's fine, you know, sometimes you gotta you gotta give up some something sometimes. I love that I just don't have to mine gold. That's one of my favorite things. Yeah, it's so nice. Alright, do we have any scholars chilling here? We don't. So let's grab a couple out of the base. You guys can come out in the map. We're gonna need healing for our crew. And he's gotta be switching to like longbows or something. No YouTube notification. Yeah, YouTube's a little bit troll like that sometimes. Okay, so we're just slowly starting to take some map control here. And uh, I know it seems a little bit passive, but we, uh, we're we going to just try and really, really lay our roots. So it's, it's less of an all-in, you know what I'm saying? Here we're a little bit poorly barricaded. Okay, so he's scouting now. He's going to discover something he might not like to see. Let's get these scholars in the army. They obviously... Oh, I forgot to get the scholar upgrades. See, there's always something you, you miss. Okay, so we got all those upgrades coming along now, which is nice. And I would imagine his army will be there soon, but let's just press up into his realm and see. Another thing that's really good to do is just build like random ass towers all over, um, all over uh, like gold veins and things like that. He's probably going Imperial, I would wager. Let's see what it looks like here. Let's get you down there, buddy. Just start picking off some of these bills. Yeah, he's got uh, nice upgrades on his units, a little bit better than mine at the moment. Okay, let's just pressure because we're, we're gonna get the sacred here yeah he's, he's sending some random units over here to try and dispatch this but looks like the keep's gonna finish him off all right so just more bills we got 10 here so let's have you guys just mine stone stone's very useful for delhi especially when i have compounded the defender which i'm actually not even really using right now okay so let's get you guys head over here he's got a million longbows which i don't feel are going to be very good here He's trying to snipe my scholars. Okay, yeah, I, I don't know what, why he's still making longbows. I feel like that's not going to do anything for him. Yeah, because now we just chase him in his base while we win with Sacred, right? Like, okay. There we go. There's the other stuff. I was wondering where, where the rest of his army was. Okay, I don't know if I like this fight. Let's actually pull back. Let's get our Dumbos back because we have all the home field advantage, right? So let's get you guys battling here. A couple of you guys battling here. And, uh, yeah, let's just fall back to our keeps and whatnot. We have, like, full map control here. We're gonna need some crossies, though. Because he's got, actually, a fair amount of armor. And knights as well. Okay, scholars. Let's get back, heal up the Dumbo, fall back to the keep. Uh, now we need to, like, iron out our army a little bit. So let's get a bunch of archery ranges. And, like, actually get proper macro going. Okay. Scholars, heal up the Dumbo. Uh, and now we wall this. Although, let's build a keep here first. And just focus on macro here. Alright, so we're pretty secure down here. Like, he's not going to get in there easy, that's for sure. And our food is alright. Looks like we're about to kind of lose this here. So let's do this and this. And we can build a bunch. And yeah, we need crossbows. He's got a lot of mended arms and armor, so we need to just deal with that. As longer this game goes, the better uh, it's going to get for him. Because, you know, he's playing, uh, he's playing English, so... That's what the English do. They get very strong as the game goes on and they have infinite gold. Granted, we have five relics in Sacred, so we're, we're doing pretty cozy in the gold department as well. Alright, so let's set up a bunch of food all over the place, get those farms going, to let us sustain in battle against the dreaded English. Alright, Dome of Faith. Can fill this up, so one and two. And we probably want to get some siege workshops also. So let's get back here and build that. Looking good, nice and cozy here, a lot of stone coming in. Eh, I probably should eventually get the spear upgrades also. Do we have any big wood outcroppings back here? No, we're going to have to unfortunately do this one. We will unfortunately need to do that. Ah, he got up there, nice. Before I was able to really fully secure it. We'll hustle up there and see what we can do. Uh, do we have like a big wave of villagers we can pull? We do. Alright, let's get you guys up here. We're gonna have to resecure this. Wasn't quite able to get full control over the map. But it's just his knights there. So hopefully we will get him. Come on, team. 
If we could actually... Oh, oh, man. Are we going to get there in time? Oh, not quite. If I had done that earlier, we would have. That would have been a, a big MLG play for sure. But yeah, if we can wipe a bunch of knights, totally worth. All right, let's get you guys on these hunts here. Nice, nice. Uh, probably going to raid into my base right now, I would imagine. So let's get you guys back here and do a little bit of this to prevent that. And now I think we can just push into his base if he's going to like harass with his knights like that. We got these vills coming up. He might just come back here, but now we should have the keep up. And we got the keep coming up in the base. That'll prevent the raid for the most part. And uh, we can also gather more of these guys. All right, let's head to the English base. He's got to be pretty pinned in there. Okay, so yeah, just got to keep that constant pressure, right? And then you, buddy. Let's get some walls. Go to the edge of the map. And here comes another fight. So yeah, we got we got a pretty good little army here. And we got our keep up, so let's garrison in there. Good thing I built that, huh? Yeah, he's starting to get trebuchets, which is a little bit scary. He's got a big army, dude. I feel like I need to get mangoes. Scoot shoot against these guys a little bit. How's Dumbo doing? Dumbo seems to be doing well. Let's go get the treb. I'm pulling back here. Yeah, see, now there's a little bit of poke going on my keep there. If we get the treb, it's not the worst fight in the world. Yeah, because we 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 we, we, we remacroed pretty effectively, I would say. Okay, can we repair this? It looks like we did not quite. Oh, we did get the trebuchet at the last second. Good. Okay, looking good. So we got that fully walled off, and then we just need to wall off this little choke here, and then we'll be uh, chilling. All right, where are you at? So siege workshops, yes, please. Let's get a bunch of those. One, two, three, four. Four might be too many, but it's okay. It is all good. And then come down here. Let's build some more barracks. Okay, so we just definitely went pretty ham. Our food is going to be good. We can definitely go for Imperial. Imperial Delhi kind of sucks. But, um, you know, we don't have too many choices here. So he's going to have to rebuild another trebuchet. Because English units are just, in general, a little bit better than Delhi units. Especially with the tax speed buffs he's getting. That's why his army's kind of beat mine so decisively. But, um, yeah, it looks like he's, he's trying to find a way to run by. But we're not going to give him anything free, that's for sure. Uh, let's get the the Palace of the Sultan here. Yeah, that's going to be pretty badass. He's looking he's looking for ways in, but there's no freebies. Everything is like fully walled off. We have the, the dreaded Delhi Stranglehold, as we like to call it. Probably should upgrade my spears, although he's not really building Cav. Uh-huh. And we are going to have Imperial soon, even though it'll take 10 hundred years to, to do it. Okay, he's got one trebuchet at the moment. But for England, that's actually worse, because it's like... Yeah, let's build a couple springs so we can snipe that thing. And uh, then we just go mangoes after that. All this free gold is pretty great though, isn't it? You guys ready to see some MLG plays? We'll see if Homeboy's paying attention. He might not be. Okay, here we go. Nobody ever expects the Haggard Deli sprint out. Okay, I don't think he's paying attention. Because we just need to can this. If we just can these, then, you know, that's one down. Let's just keep chasing, because we can afford to throw away units. Now we just make hand cannoneers. And these guys can pull back to the keep. I think we got another one. Yeah, looks like we did. Great, totally worth. Manganels, yes please. Let's build another keep back here. Looks like he's diving in with something. Getting extra spicy. Uh-huh. And, uh, okay, so now we need to go ahead and get the uh, Imperial Age tech from the Madrasas. Let's do that. You guys uh, probably should just actually mine some gold. We, we're going to need more than the Sacred Sites can give us to win this fight. Okay. Uh, how are we doing? So let's do this. Let's do this. And this. Cool. It's only two springs at the moment, but he only, he only has one trebuchet. Hand cannoneers, please. Men at arms. 15 of you guys. Have you gathered some more stone? How's our, our numbers? Actually, pretty good. We don't need more bills. Okay, come down here. Okay, let's do this. You guys come down here and repair. So he's Imperial too. This is where I start to potentially lose. If I'm not careful. Alright, so... Yeah, we move in. We bully these men at arms. Let's get a cannon emplacement. Yeah, we're actually dunking on him a little bit here. But that this is where it gets scary. Because he's got a lot of longbows. Oh, man. 
Those uh, those guys did not move out the right way. Okay, let's move him into the keep a little bit so he takes some more L's. Keep the men at arms pumping out. Okay, he's taking some big losses. We are repairing through the trebuchets. Let's just get more mangoes. Mangan all seem to be pretty good. Tower Dumbo is also doing good. We are going to be getting free Dumbos. If we can push him back here, but his whole army has that attack speed buff, man. It's so hard to trade against. Okay. Um, Horseman Switch could be viable, too. Let's grab you guys and Power Build to keep, like, right up here. Because we just need to... We're, we're going for a Sacred Victory, right? So that's got to be the play. Uh, we don't need that. Okay. How many hand cannon here? So I have not many. Okay, Madrasa, let's go ahead and get the elite army tactics and this. Just gonna take like 45 minutes to get those, but hey, at least it's free. At least it's free. Build another keep here. Keep some of you guys repairing that. And do we have more artillery coming out? We do, finally. Oh my goodness. Okay, so hopefully those knights will just be gunned down here. All right, we're pushing them back. The sweat is flowing. Let's go ahead and sprint up and uh, snipe his traps. One, two, three. Get you guys sniping the trebuchets as well. I think if we just kill the traps, it's just over. We just went. Yeah, how's, how's the damage actually going in the keep? Do we have any bills that can repair? Yeah, we do. Cool. All right, so now we just pull back. We don't give a shit. We're just like, okay, whatever. Yeah, you do you, buddy. You do you. Um, our villager count's a little bit high. Definitely a little bit high. Forgot to get some upgrades when I got Imperial Age, but that's not a huge deal. We got keeps. We got keeps with bombards and all sorts of fun stuff. We got some random scholars chilling up here. All right. The deli shop is no joke. Imperial Delhi versus Imperial England, man. We're doing it. Just the, the free gold we've been getting all game is just nuts, right? So we'll just keep pushing him back. And if we can just dive the trebuchets, then he's never he's not going to be able to win if we just kill the trebs. All right. Let's get you. Yep. Trebuchet's getting dove. Looking cozy. Got 33 idle workers just Netflix and chilling. And uh, let's just have them hammer the hell out of that gold up there. Because now we can just, you know, we have enough keeps up, right? Got three keeps in the middle. Yeah, baby, let's go, deli shop. All right, uh, how are our upgrades doing? Yeah, we didn't quite finish them all. One thing I'm doing a little bit suboptimal is, um, let's run into the farms back here, is um, not getting the Madrasa system going and keeping the Dome of Faith producing. There's just so much with Delhi, man, to keep track of. All right, let's just put him out here. And uh, just to be safe, let's get another keep up here in case he tries, like, a backdoor on that. Yeah, now we have, like, cannons all over this shit. He's got two minutes left to kill us? Okay. I don't think that's going to happen. I would be very shocked if this gentleman were able to come back. I would be incredibly shocked. Uh-huh. Yep, and then do that. All right, just keep let's just keep grinding here. Keep throwing away units in in the best in the best way possible, of course. Uh, let's get you down here. Set up some more towers. We can make those cannon towers. Ah, homie's got bombards. Okay. Well, the artillery thing hasn't been working out too well for him. Let's go get on this. The little spring all shooting here. And now that he's just making longbows, like our men at arms can just ignore him and just move through. See, we can just like go snipe all of his artillery at will. Come on, team. Come on, team, let's go. The Diamond Gatekeeper shows no mercy against uh, the Lords of Platinum trying to make their way up. Yeah, buddy, let's go. What a, it's a good game. Good game. Delhi Sacred W. Although we didn't get the Sacred, but... We didn't get the Sacred Victory, but I'll take it. Yeah, it was a good scrappy match. That was definitely good. Um, let's see what he had. Okay, was he on 1TC? No, he was 1TC King's Palace. So two, technically. Wingard, yeah. Just typical English play, right? Just Wingard Palace and try and win with that. But, you know, we had map control for a long time. We had full stranglehold, too. Like, the, the stone walls just trapping him in that, like, corner. So he could only press into the middle one. Yeah, it was fun. GG. All right, man. Look at that. We're almost diamond, two. Like, probably depends on the ELO of the players we play. But potentially two more wins. Potentially two more W's. Thank you guys all for joining today. If you're enjoying the stream, do drop a like. It helps out quite a bit. And uh, yeah.
Belly's doing good. Oh, we oh we dropped we dropped him back down to gold after that. He was in platinum, and we we sent we gatekeeped him back down to gold league. All right. Village Fortress is pretty good. Yeah, Village Fortress is quite strong. I, I need to take advantage of that a little bit better. Yeah, Delhi Delhi's got a lot of stuff to to keep track of, like the upgrades, the scholars. It's a uh, it's a lot. Usually with England, you just mouth breathe forward. England is my other competitive sieve. They're very strong. They're very very strong, but. I just love playing the sacred sites. I love it. All right, so let's uh, go for... What we'll do now is a community game where I will make a lobby. And first come, first serve. If you guys want to come, it's going to be an FFA game. Would you say that this game is new friendly or steep learning curve? Uh, looking to go England if I buy the game. Yeah, England's a really good choice for beginners. Um, honestly, I think, it's, I think it's pretty friendly. I haven't had any issues with it myself. Granted, I have a lot of RTS experience, but yeah, like you'll play against other new players. I mean, after you finish your first, you could just play unranked matches and and you'll get there. Oh, Daniel, I do appreciate that, but I'm playing in this one. Uh, turn FFA. All right, there we go. Damn, turn <laughs> gatekeep them less hard. Yeah. We got the Super Munchkin. We got the dreaded map boss. Oh, what is he? What is his icon? That's pretty cool. Oh, he's got like an, a portrait with an archery range or something. So we're gonna do a mega random. Hey, we got some new players in here too. There's some faces I don't recognize. Very exciting. FFA madness. Yeah. So we played two sweaty ranked games. We were able to win with the jelly shop. And now, uh, now we're gonna be doing an FFA. And who do we want to play? We could have everyone go random. Although, yeah, it's fine. Just let people play who they want. We're going to go for Delhi, I think. <laughs> yeah, don't drop this time. All right, so set no teams. So set no teams, please. We're going to do a mega random. We'll keep playing uh, We'll keep playing Delhi. Hey, Ivan, I'm glad you appreciate it, man. It does feel very quick. It does. Hey, Daniel, well, I'm sure we'll see you next time, bud. Don't worry. I'm going to... So here's the plan. We play this. I play like another ranked game, and then we close out with an FFA, most likely. Oh, dude, don't stress it. So let's check. We got Super Mudgkin, who is the Dreadlord of Gold 1, looking to be Platinum very soon. Matt Boss is Gold also. Gold 1. Okay, we got several. Gold players are very good. Gold is, is very solid. Like, they can beat Platinum and Diamond players for sure if they play if they play very well. Gold 2. Yeah, a lot of Gold players. And then the Dreaded Whispers. Ooh, Platinum 1. Okay, yeah. A very strong foe indeed. All right, everybody set. Uh, Delhi is probably one of the worst civs in FFA, but you know what? We uh, we have to do our people proud. We'll do random for the uh, for the final FFA. We're gonna do two, probably this one and another one. Yeah, even if you're new, who cares? Like, and, and just get in and play. It's FFA. If you lose, whatever. You know, it's not like a sweaty one v one. You can you can just blame it on external factors, right? You can be like, oh, they ganged up on me, or uh, my start position was bad, and you know, there's plenty of excuses in FFA. Plenty of excuses. Hey, Center, thank you again for that donation, bud. I really do appreciate that. And uh, now it's time for a little bit of practice FFA. Should be great. Mmm. Mongols. Yeah, Delhi. How do we make Delhi good in FFA? I mean, I know I can elephant cheese people, but elephants fall off super hard in Imperial Age. They just become basically useless. I guess, like, being a relic thief is really big. So, fast castle with relics. We are in mega random, so... I don't know where everything's going to be in terms of uh, sacreds and all that. Uh, Shetland, Delhi's been doing okay. Delhi typically loses in the FFA games. The only time they really won was that one time with Zlami. And he's a professional level player. Like, he's a conqueror, so... Yeah. That was about it. That was about it. Dude, look at my potato just, like, powering through this loading screen right here. But yeah, Delhi's my favorite Civ hands down to play. Like, I feel like they're the one I can compete with, but... I've been struggling with HRE lately. I don't know what it is. I've been having a rough old time. We'll make Delhi. We'll make them great. Don't worry. It's going to happen. How, how do we do it? I guess, yeah, I think I think the big thing is relics. Like, getting relic control. Because we have the scholar advantage, so we can have more religious characters out on the battlefield, and we can, we can grab all the relics. So that's got to be, like, our high priority here. And also getting sacred sites. Not like trying to win with them, but just getting a couple sacreds. Like two of them preferred if we can find it. But 
It is a large map, so the odds of us getting sacreds are going to be tough. So we have one one lad loading in here. Mm -hmm. Yes, the dreaded uh, Norskin war mammoths will come. Sorry for starting the stream so late, but hey, hopefully some of you folks in Australia, it's a little bit easier for you. Different time zones and all that stuff. French, Mongols, HRE. Okay, one English. So Super, Super Munchkin could be a huge menace, of course, with the English. Two Mongols. Yeah, Mongols are tough. Very, very tough to finish off. Very, very tough. I think Mongols are actually a top tier FFA save. I just, I don't think they're super popular. Oh, shit, this was Nomad? Oh, no, I was, I, I did not notice it was Nomad. This is actually a pretty nice start here, but we're going to go to the edge of the map and see what we can find. This is, like, not a bad spot. Like, ooh, okay, I think we just have to go for this. It's too good. I mean, look at this shit. We have, like, a berry bush and a gold vein right next to each other. That's, like, Delhi 101. <laughs> All right, so we are doing Nomad. I forgot that I had it set on that. It was not meant to be, but, you know, it is what it is. It's more relaxed, too. My hands can just chill out. Yeah, we're not, like, in the best spot. We're not in the corner of the map, so a little bit unfortunate. You too. wonder who the first person to fall is going to be. I know green is going down here. We saw Professor uh, Finbar heading that way. So we got to put some respect there. Oh, no, look at this. Should we chase that worker and give, give her the old shank? Uh, we could start on this to start getting those upgrades going. Mongols are top tier for Nomad. Yeah, that makes sense because they could just... Oh, I think there's like water over here, actually. It's actually pretty nice for us, potentially. Let's go check real quick so we can like plan our build order. Is there water? No, it just looks like a hill and then a stealth forest. Okay. Professor Pwn was born a Nomad. He was. Well, this, this guy's hustling all the way down. We have a relic right next to us, which is a good start. Certainly can't complain about that. Yeah, surprise Nomad, man. Surprise Nomad. Almost done with our TC. Sacred Sight. Okay, nice, nice. It's a good piece of information to have. And then we build a house here real quick. We can just start on this. Homeboy's on his way. Probably should have just finished the TC first, but whatever. Anyone know the difference between... Uh, I'm actually not sure uh, the answer to your question, bud. Yeah, this is a good spot. We got like all three of our main resources like right against our TC here. All right, so let's get just start pumping out bills here. Oh, yeah, I definitely need to get a scout too. Scouts are very important on these. Oh, man, look at all the big... Like, we have a lot of good resources near us. If we As long as we don't get sandwiched. Well, I bet you the Byzantines will get added eventually, guys. That's probably going to be the case. Um, so we still want to get this. The reason why is because we want the wheelbarrow research, right? And that's going to give us a huge economic boon. So we do want to start with that pretty quick. Are the factions? Oh, uh, yeah. The, I would say, like, some factions are stronger than others. But, like, look, if you're playing, like, not at a professional level, you can win at the highest, like, Platinum Diamond League Challenger with, like, any Civ. You know, it's not terrible. Let's actually scout, like, behind us and see what's going on back here. All right. So wheelbarrow. Yeah, Delhi is Delhi's actually got some kind of hidden hidden strengths here. Is this an actual forest or is this just a stealth forest here? Probably is a stealth forest. Let's 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 go see. Yeah. Okay. Well, we don't need wood yet anyway. So. Okay. So th there's a little pond here, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any potential for fishing. Wheelbarrow's on the way, and we do have a, a true wood line down here. I think. Yeah, we have a couple. Kind of loop around and explore our base. The wheelbarrow of doom is on its way. Hmm. Do you need to get the religious building though, for sure? All right. So let's get this. Uh, let's get this. Build it a little bit tight to our base. Eh. You can build it down here, actually. Okay. Still creeping around. Hmm. The mosque. Do we go for efficient? Probably. Hmm. Piety. I only know where one sacred site is, unfortunately, but that still is a fair amount of gold per minute. Sanctity has been nerfed multiple times over the course of the game. My, my poor beloved Delhi has just been subjected to so many nerfs. Some of them warranted, for sure. Like, the stone wall nerf, I think, was good, because stone wall rushes were really obnoxious to deal with. And Delhi was very good at it. I'm pretty sure the green player settled down here. I saw one of his villagers, like, waddling past me, although maybe he didn't find the resources he was looking for. 
Okay, we'll start gathering some gold now. Do need to get some stone though, or wood, excuse me. Mm. Could start chopping down the old stealth forest. Okay, it doesn't look like he settled down here. I saw one of his workers going this way. Very suspicious, very suspicious. A lot of, lot of good sheep here. We actually had a pretty excellent sheep haul, to be fair. It would be nice to find some true water. All right, now we could just start chopping down the stealth forest by our main base. Our starting position's not bad, it's not bad. There's eight factions in this game, eight factions. I would wager they'll add more. I, I would say by like, yeah, like Christmas, like quarter one, 2023, we'll start getting new factions or at least one. That's just my conspiracy theory guess. I don't have any like, you know, insight there, but that's just what I would wager. We're for sure gonna go for the sacred here. Uh, let's build some more scouts. We need to we need to have some more information. Knowledge is power. That is a very true statement. All right, so we got one relic here. That's it so far, though. Pretty crappy relic haul. Haven't been able to find any opponents yet. Mmm. Piety. A very good upgrade. By the way, if you guys are deli players, like going piety first is really good if you're going to be playing sacred. Because 40 HP is like a lot. Like archers do like what five damage in the feudal age or something like that, so like that's a huge difference, right? The, your scholars are just going to be like middle linebackers. You need to get as much like map intel as we can. Got all this like stealth forest over here sucks. Well, I mean, I kind of have a corner to myself, not like hardcore, but it's uh, it's something. Okay, let's turn in. Uh, it's all stealth forest here, man. Do we have any like true forests? We do, but it's all the way down here, which sucks. I guess we're just gonna work in the stealth for us then. It's a little bit janky, but it is what it is. Oh, there's water and a relic, okay. That's pretty good. And I think we can tech now. So I could have teched a while ago, but I was just being silly. All right, let's get the Dome of Faith, go down here. We'll power build that shit. Okay, relics, yeah, relics, relics, relics. That is uh, the name of the game we're playing. I love, love getting relics, it's so much fun. How many do we have building that for? Got to get forestry. We're about to finish wheelbarrow. Very nice. We're going to need another house soon. And this time we do want to mine gold consistently. Oh, a little bit of water here, guys. With deep, deep sea fish. Oh, the Mongols settled here. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's grab you and potentially go try and get a fishing operation going. Hello. Okay, so we found the English up on the top of the map. We're about to hit the second age pretty soon. Yeah, we for sure. Oh yeah, there's like deep water fish here and here. We could we could try a little bit of a cheeky fish expansion. Okay, six on that is fine. Let's hit the wood hard. Let's hit the wood. Yeah, we only have two on food at the moment, so I guess we gotta chill out there. Oh wow, holy shit, these guys are right next to each other. They're like in a straight up Thunderdome right there. That is uh, that is pretty wild. All right, buddy, let's just keep looking. Yeah, so there's a huge vast uh, looks like a sea here. So we, we need to get our paws on that. We should be okay on the supply block department. I think we should escape that. Uh, we got enemy scouts. Yeah, there's a Roost player, obviously, hunting all the game. Roost is a pretty good FFA sieve. They definitely have some strong tools. All right, let's get our scholars going and we can start on the uh, Sanctity upgrade. How's this shit? Oh man, okay, well, one of my scouts is dead. You never expect there to just be like a base like randomly in the middle of the map. What the hell is this? Stop it. Stop it, you. Wait, why can I not even build here? You guys seeing this shit? Look, can't build any of this. Oh no, what a what a what a horrible fate to have suffered. Let's go see if we can get one up here. Oh, looks like he lost interest. Decided to go somewhere else. Alright, so upgrades, upgrades, and uh oh that's right, we never built a mining camp. That's pretty funny. Okay, we'll lure him back this way. Can we build here? There we go. Is that deep water fish? It looks like it is. Okay, great. So that will kind of act as our like second TC of sorts, right? That's kind of the idea of that. And uh, he's going to get a little bit danger close to the TC here. That's fine. Who is this? This is Nanu. Okay. Got to watch out for some aggression, for sure. You never know. We're going to build that just so we can get the mining upgrade. And yeah, I guess we just head to Castle Age here. Although I haven't been able to find more than one sacred, which is tough. This is going to handle our food very well we can actually get this up. That's what she said. Oh my god, somebody's dead already? 
Wow. How the hell, how'd that happen? How'd that go down? How did he, how did he die? Ezekiel says, I just crashed because the game said I was using a bad mod. Oh, no worries, dude. Yeah, so I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah, so it does happen sometimes, you know. The dreaded potatoes will strike. All right, so let's just have you do a little bit of a... Uh, do you want to do more fishing here? Like double dock? There is a lot of deep water fish here, so maybe it is worth. Although I don't want to, like, expose too much of my... Nice, nice. Okay, that's prime time here. Let's get you up here. And uh, how long do we have the Sanctity finished? About a minute? Okay. So two sacreds is good because it doesn't, like, trigger the win condition. So nobody's, like, panicking. Like, oh, God, he's going to win. Like... Yeah, but if we go for the third one, then everybody like jumps on me here, right? So then I, I pay the troll toll. Do we have houses coming up? Yes, I do. Okay. And Dome of Faith. Let's go ahead and get you hustling up here, buddy. Yeah, we're doing a little bit of a lazy capture here. And uh, I'll set up a tower. Look at this shit. What's going on here, Tron? Tron's getting out of control. Just trying to get Castle Age here, just chilling out, you know, and then Tron just rolls up. Yeah, I don't know why my position actually doesn't feel like good. Just like where I'm at. This feels a little bit shady for sure. Okay, Sanctity's on the way. Scholar's gonna be hustling there. Uh, how do I even wall this area? Okay, it's a very strange deployment. Could get a galley, probably gonna have to build one, sadly, because if I don't, nah, we can send our scout over there, actually. If he gets there in time, then I won't stress it. A couple relics in the middle. So castle is not as far as far away as you'd think. I'm gonna cancel the galley. It's just not worth it. Our scout will be there soon. There's just there's no other like reason to build out there, and we'll get a couple of you guys to start mining stone as well. I forgot to get that upgrade too. Damn. All right, so we got that one being done. Let's go get a tower over here. We're gonna get a couple little arrow emplacements. Oh my god, I guess we do need to build the galley, because he's got two guys coming to raid me. The dreaded Tron showing no mercy. Yeah, so the galley will have to come. We'll, we'll run a little bit of interference here. Oh, that's right, my fi I'm Delhi. My fishing boats can shoot. Duh. Oh man, I, I haven't like played a hybrid map of Delhi for so long. Okay, we got that sacred. So let's go grab this now. Hopefully we'll be good. Very close to castle. And then we just have to be relic like bandit. Relic relic bandits, right? We just have to grab all the goodies we possibly can. Okay, let's jump on sheep. We don't need to go two TC if we have like this fishing going. That kind of like accomplishes the same goal. We can do two TC a little bit later. Okay. So we've got the two sacreds, which is great. So trying to take advantage of every little trick that the deli shop can. Hmm. And one, two. So we're just gonna build up the mosques. Oh, look, the Mongol tower is like inadvertently protecting me here. Isn't that funny? Look, look. You see that? The Mongol tower is protecting my sacred site. I love it. Oh, this is why we get piety. Oh, what a chat. He got in the tower. Nice. Nice, nice. All right, so let's get this. There's obviously a bunch of Mangudai running around, so we have to put some respect on their names. All right, so let's get you guys and you guys and build the compound of the defender because having my armies be able to build stone walls is going to be incredibly nice. Uh, did we lose the sacred site? We did, but we should be able to recapture it. Ooh, somebody's already trading in the middle. Look at this. It's not much trade, though, so no biggie. Yeah, so we still got one sacred. It's nice. Let's see if we can hold this here. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. Okay, we'll, we'll be back later for it. All right, so one of you guys goes here. Uh, one of you guys can go here. And the other one can go down and down and down. And we need to keep producing out of the Dome of Faith. Yeah, cool. So yeah, look at this. The Mongols are nearby. They're certainly cackling in the night looking for looking for some sort of prize. Uh, do we have any wood lines we can go for? Yeah, I guess just we're just going to have to do it super janky. Our food is very good. Yeah, we're about to get Castle Age. Unfortunately, now I have to suffer through those annoying attack animations, or the uh, the notifications, I should say. Okay, give me the Castle Age. Did the Mongols lose interest yet? Not yet. Okay, well, it looks like they might have, so 
Let's go recapture that. There you go, buddy. There you go. This is the only way we can compete with Delhi in the late game, right? Is uh, by getting all these relics. And then, oh, there's the other sacred site. Holy shit. Probably don't want to do that yet, though, because that's going to make everybody hate us. Oh my god, of course. Of course, the dreaded supply block comes in. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, get it, get it. Live, live. Oh, I don't think we got it. The cursed Mangu dive arrived. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame. We'll, we'll be back. We, we, we have plenty of scholars, so not too worried about it. I do not know why I'm hitting stone so hard, but it is what it is. Uh-huh. And let's get all the eco upgrades. You guys can jump on this. Here, here. And what else do I need to do with Delhi? So what kind of units do we want to get? Do we just want to get some Dumbos? Yeah, I think Dumbos would be sweet. All right, let's get some Dumbos. One, two. Let's get a couple of those guys. We're kind of, you know, rolling in the resources a little bit, right? Uh, grab this relic, then head back down here. And then homeboy's got this one. Ooh, let's, I have a fun play, guys. You guys ready for the biggest of plays? Let's have you guys get on food. Here it comes. Oh, oh, Tron was watching. <laughs> Tron, Tron was watching. Okay, okay. Yeah, he was, he was paying some, some close attention there. Hey, look at the scholars. See, that's the piety upgrade coming in, man. We got it. Okay, so you fill out here. And we do need to get a marketplace, 100%. Um, you know what? A fortress in base actually doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Because I can start getting the research, like the village fortress and all that kind of stuff, and I think that's going to be worth... Okay, there's another relic up here. So let's go grab this one, and then come back down to the base. Dumbos. We'll get a handful of Dumbos. Yeah, well, you know what? We can just hit this outcropping. And did I ever build a marketplace? I don't remember if I did. I should have, at least. Okay, double Dumbo. Certainly should be strong. We did build a marketplace. So let's build another TC. And as far as this TC goes, let's build it near the lumber down here. So we can have, like, a proper lumber camp. Upgrade our tower to stone. Got to shut down some of that trade, potentially. I think we have to t try and take out Tron next to us. He's been quite ornery, for sure. Is there any more relics that you guys can see on the map? Just I just see that one up there. Five is pretty sweet, for sure. Yeah, so we got four. I'm very happy with that. We have another TC coming up in the back. Um, How many demos will we need, actually? Probably, like, a handful of them. The Slanesh bots are here raiding. Oh my god, look at him go. What do we got here? Another one of you? Okay, let's, let's just set up another tower here if we can. So we got that relic. So we got five relics, guys. That's uh, that's going to definitely be very good for us in the late game. Yeah, I really don't like being surrounded by the stealth forest here. It's definitely very anxiety-inducing. All right. Looks fine. The crew is doing well. We have our... Oh, we don't have our deep-sea fishing. I was about to say... My food started dropping off there a little bit. Well, it is what it is. It's not worth investing. It, it got us to Castle Age pretty quickly, so I'm happy with that. All right, let's get our Scholars in here and here it's for the efficient production. And now we can go ahead and start on the Village Fortresses upgrade. We should be in good shape. Um, now I need to secure my Empire. We have the two TCs, so let's just start hitting Lumber so we can switch to a farm economy. And uh, we could just start on some sort of a, a great stone wall. Okay, can we do this? Yeah, we're going to start kind of walling off our kingdom here. This is going to delay our castle age a little bit. Ah, I never got that sacred site back. Well, homeboy can drop this off. Oh, that's right. There's some, there's some stuff down there. Okay. Oh, we actually made it. Wow. That's cool. I almost want to just delete this so the notification stops trolling me. Okay, let's get this, and then we can switch to another food source, which we're going to have to do here. I think there's some berries nearby. All right, guys. Eh, we don't need too much military. You'd be surprised in, in the dreaded FFAs. Okay, so let's uh, set up another fortress right here. The reason why we're doing this is because we're going to be producing villagers out of them eventually. No. We have so much gold, too, from our, our relics. 
Oh, come on. Come on, man. Hey, what day of the week is it? Sunday? God, that was such a good FFA game too, man. We had an ep epic deli run going on. We had five freaking... An unexpected error due to a possible desync of the match participants. I mean, the stream is still good. Yeah, there's no issues on the stream. Man, what a piece of shit. Is there any chance to, like, get it back? Did everybody desync, huh? Man, that's a shame. That's a shame. Well, the next time we won't do Nomad. I guess we'll just go back. Oh, that sucks so bad, dude. That sucks a fat, fat one for sure. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I, I don't know even what causes that. And my game crashes afterwards, too. But it didn't crash until I exited out. Oh, what a shame. That was going to be such a fun one. We'll call it a draw, yeah, Pwn knows. See, I expect I expect like piece of shit errors from Total War Warhammer, but not from this game. Come on. Alright, let's fire it up. There must be some sort of a weird update or something going on. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. We'll just play we'll just play uh we'll just play the 1v1s, I guess. What a what a shame. 1v1s don't seem to crash as often. I think it's when you mix in a bunch of players that sometimes it can get a little bit dramatic. Man, we had five relics. We had five relics. Okay, so let's go 1v1. Let's keep the ranked train going. Yeah, five relics and like keeps and we had village production. I think that's how you do Delhi. Well, Ezekiel, um, if it's ha it doesn't happen to me very often. And I think everybody crashed there. I think everybody did. It wasn't just me. I I believe it was just a mass desync. Yeah, because your error message Ezekiel is different. It says something about like mods, right? Like bad mods or something. Because this is just like it. It just it says desync. Always desyncs when the game is fun. Is it hard to climb in ranked? Um, no, it's not very hard actually. I mean. Look, yeah, it's, you're going to face tough opponents, but um, look, the dreaded, the no result, the no contest. 27 in what? 14? Yeah, 27 wins, 14 losses. Not bad. Um, no, I mean, if you practice and put in the reps, like, no, you'll, you'll climb, dude. Like, you might start in the pits of hell. <laughs> you won in here, touch his chest. Yeah, that meme always makes me laugh. I started next to someone and had to make towers and burn his rams. I couldn't get out of feudal, says a Doyle. Oh, that's funny. I was about to kill Orange too. Oh, Nanny was getting crazy. I was trying to amass a bunch of Dumbos to go take out one of my neighbors. I was going to just pull like 20 Scholars and just go heal the Dumbos and try and finish them off. I don't know how it would have went. But we'll do some 1v1s here. Are you guys still going on about the Morbius jokes? Oh man, that's uh, is that going to be like the next Big Chungus meme? Will it be that? Cause that man, that yeah, that meme's old. The big chungus one was from 2018, I think. That was like that was that was before the the old apocalypse, right? Uh, 2018. It's pretty crazy seeing the evolution of all these memes. You know, as someone who was b born and saw the internet like become a thing. Turin was playing too good and he broke the servers. It's true. When I got five relics, everybody was just panicking. Hey, all right. Let's see what he does. Good luck. Have fun to the silent marauder. He's got a cool kind of. Like Platinum Dragon as this picture. Pretty neat stuff. Yeah, a lot of people have been playing uh, Abbasid lately. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Jared Leto probably in chat right now. I seriously doubt it. I'm trying to think of my favorite memes of all time. Like, which ones just always make me laugh? Yeah, I'd have to, I'd actually have to be like introspective about that and figure it out. It never disconnects when I'm doing bad. Yeah, it's always when you're like in, in a good position, right? Okay. Here's the berry bushes. Oh, hello. A little bit slow in the draw there, but no biggie. Thank you all for joining. Sorry about that. Um, I'll try and get another FFA after this. We'll we'll let the haggard servers have some time to breathe, but we'll also do a normal game where it's um where it's not going to be like super super quick. Yeah. Or where it will be quicker, because Nomad takes a long time to get going, so our odds of getting through the game are better if we uh, if we do the other the other stuff. Okay, let's do this. Get that going. 
So we have one sacred here. We got the wheelbarrow. We got the forestry going. So you guys have seen the build order. So if you guys are deli players, you know, this... Essentially, you could treat these battles as somewhat of a guide, right? We've been playing good players, and uh, the deli shop has been working. It would be pretty sweet to get diamond, too. I don't think there's any difference, though. I think you get the same rewards just as long as you're in diamond, so... But delis are really fun civ to play. Like, they're, they're very different than other civs. Okay, not the best scouting, actually. How are we looking? Yeah, we got forestry and wheelbarrow coming along. Yeah, Delhi, I guess, isn't as bad in FFA, because you have, like, eight scholars out by the time you get castle sometimes, so you can... You can Grand Theft Auto all the relics on the map if uh, people aren't paying attention. Okay, let's hit that up. I need to get better at planning my base structure. Is good in? Yeah, yeah, prequel memes are actually some of my favorite. Yeah, I would say thank you for reminding me, dude. Prequel memes are really, really good. Yeah, those are, those are amazing. I haven't seen the new show yet. Hopefully it's good. The Obi-Wan show. Like, I hope we get to see Hayden Christensen's face a little bit, because he's probably just going to be in the Vader suit the whole time, is my my thought. But I would love to see, uh, you know, see some of that. Yeah, the Anakin thing is considered a meme, for sure. Yeah, no, pre the prequel movies in general are considered memes. Like, they 100% are. Okay, so homeboy got a lot of sheep, but we don't really care. Like, we, we play Barry Bush's as Delhi, so. Okay, one sacred, very close to his base, it looks like. Like, his base is, like, right here. So that's a very, very lucky spawn for him. And he's playing Chinese. Okay. So do we expect a Barbican Rush? Some sort of cheese like that? That would actually be interesting. I'm not very proficient at dealing with barbecue rushes. We should probably build a second scout just to be safe. I know where two of the sacreds are. Once we see him building it in the base, we'll know that we're safe. But Barbican Rush is... I actually don't know if it's more efficient to like... Yeah, the sacred's probably on the other side. I don't know if it's more efficient to pull Vils to shank it down and like try and react that way or to um Yeah. Or to, or to basically just to, uh, you know, ignore it and then relocate your stuff. Prequel cool memes are great. Yeah, that's one of the best, I think. So let's go scout his base out. We have another uh dude coming out here in a second. So we just need to see if he's gonna pull like, you know, ten villagers and run out my base here. Very close to getting there. Can pull a couple of you guys. Perfect. Okay, here's his base. So China sometimes can be a little bit delayed on things. One and two, and then you do this. Okay, supervising sheep. Looks pretty standard so far. I don't know what sort of shenanigans to expect. But yeah, like, China's exponentially better than Delhi in late game. So the whole idea is that we... We just, you know, force the battle to take place in the haggard feudal age, where his numbers count for slightly less. Because we can certainly fight him there. Obi-Wan, already great. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, okay. He's not barbecue rushing me. I mean, he might still come in with one later, but um, for the most part, we should be safe. Okay. Do this. We have the, the duel of duels. All right, great. So we definitely need to focus lumber a little bit more. And uh, we can bring you down here. You know, do we want to set the alarm bells off in his head yet? I think we go down here. Let's go harass, like, some of his gold workers or something stupid. Just try and, like, distract him. You know. That's going to be the play. Okay, five on wood. Six on wood will be enough. And then we'll switch on over to food after that. And, uh... He'll probably age up quicker. China does build fast, although I doubt he has as many villagers on it. Yeah, okay. He's not scouting the uh, sacred side on the bottom. Which is excellent. Excellent. And then we go horsemen. Because then if he goes, like, Zhugnu or whatever they're called, um... We're going to be good. Elephants, I don't think they need a buff. They're a tricky unit, because... If you buff them, like, too much, they're just going to be tyrannical, right? Let's see if you could, like, poke this Chinese official here. All right, so let's go to Omen Faith. Do this. Cancel efficient production. Switch and switch. Ooh, we ran a little bit close to the TC there. We played a dangerous game, my friends. And now you and you. Do this. You guys know the builds. Go for stone. And if you want to over chase, we can definitely 2v1 that guy. And uh, stable. Playing relatively clean so far. He's got his double scout out. And then we can bring you up and uh, hopefully get this one secure. Need to get a little bit more on stone. I love building towers. I don't like towering people's bases. That just feels like sh shitty and annoying. But um, 
this kind of stuff. Okay, we got all the upgrades. Good. A little bit late on the party, but you know, it could be worse. Okay, so the stone will start kicking in soon. He's discovered our scheme. He's where we need to get a horseman out stat, though. Okay, let's do some battle. He's he's a little bit afraid. Once we get a horseman out, we should just straight up win this fight, and then he won't be able to do anything about it. Wow, he's actually chilling out. He's letting letting us get away with it, huh? Horseman is out. Great. What are his answers going to be? Oh my God, he's building the barbican to the sun. There, are you serious? Well, that's one way to deny me a sacred site, isn't it? I guess let's try and get our tower up if we can. Okay. So I, I guess he just gets that one. That's going to unlock the Song Dynasty for him. Now we just move up here and uh, set up this bad boy. Move you guys here. Yeah, so we're just not going to get the middle one. For a while, at least. We might be able to break that down eventually, but... The damn wolves of, the wolves of hell are upon us. We can try raiding his base, but he's going to be Song Dynasty here, so... It's going to get a little bit messy. All right, let's get you. And then you, buddy, can come up here and up here. Two sacreds is going to be pretty nice. You know, it doesn't tickle my pickle too hard, but it uh, it is what it is. Oh, we don't need to build an arrow set on this one. Okay, horseman, let's go. Let's get that raid on. He's probably going to switch to spears now, and then in response we build an archery range, and then we can build a Dumbo once we get to the, the third age, essentially. Okay, so he has a scout over there. Sacred Sight should start popping off here in a second. At the very least, we're going to get two of these, right? All right, how are we looking? So, do we need more stone? No, we don't. We actually gathered way too much stone. A little bit of a, a mistake there, but it's okay. Let's go get on food. And uh, now we can switch you guys on over there. Okay. Let's get you guys back to the base. Do this. Oh, wow, he's actually making archers into my horsemen? That's very strange. Yeah, great. So we got a freebie there, it looks like. And uh, Sacred Sight's being captured. Scholar can jump out and capture it. And uh, cool. I'd say it's going according to plan. We definitely need to get a blacksmith, though. Start those upgrades. All right, let's jump you in here, buddy. And uh, let's make that stone, too. Yeah, the Barbican was a nice play. That was very slick by him. That was very slick. Uh, I think we go take out that Imperial official real quick. We're going to start getting a lot of gold. All right, so let's keep you. Let's have this scout, like, take the damage. All right. So now we just get back and chill. Just going to be hanging out in the tower, enjoying our best life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right, let's have you guys go jump on some berry bushes up here. Oh, he's, he's going pretty hard in the paint for this, actually. But he's going to be encountering a stone tower, which I'm sure he's not going to have a lot of fun with. Is he chasing me? Okay, that's good. Let's go pick off officials. Certainly feels quite good to do that. Get the old the old leaders. Because they cost 150 food a pop, right? So if we take them out, that's a, that's a pretty big knock on his economy. All right, looks good. We got one official down. And we're still just banking, banking in the old sacred sites here. Okay, our dude made it from before. Does he have another one nearby? I don't think so. Okay, we've kind of forced him back a little, which is great. Let's just gather archers here. And let's get the archery upgrade and the melee upgrade for the horsemen. I think he's going to take that tower down. Let's just go raid his base in the meantime. If he wants to do that. And then you guys can build a tower here to make sure we can hold that. See if we can get this guy. We'll keep the scout back. Just let the horseman dive. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to retreat into the base. Give me those. Give me those. Those officials. Hmm, how's this raid looking here? Actually, not great for us. Yeah. Yeah. That, that wasn't good. That exchange wasn't nice. He's. Uh, he definitely just had a favorable trade against us. It's all because we didn't build that tower quick enough, too. That's what made us pay the troll toll. 
Okay, let's get you over here. Have you guys do this. What a shame. What a shame. One little stupid blunder like that costs us so much. We did kill some officials though, so it wasn't a complete wash. And now he's going to go after the sacreds, it looks like. So let's see if we can creep this way. How many villagers did we lose? Yeah, we were still at 32. Yeah, it, it could be worse. All right, you guys definitely need to go find some food for us, though. Okay, down you go. Let's garrison you guys in here. Run you back in, lure you to the TC. Not bad. This tower is going to be upgraded in the middle to stone as well. We need to get a market. That was a that was a good response from him, for sure. It was very good. Um, do we want to set up our own little walls here or something? Kind of want to just try and go castle. Let's cancel that. Okay, pull back into the base. Like I think the play for him is actually not to try and is to ignore the sacreds and try and kill me. I think that would be a smart play. We'll see if he does. Okay, so we should be able to buy quite a bit here now. Will he dive into the base is the question. You come down here. See if he notices that. We are getting a lot of gold on him. Okay, boom, boom. So garrison those up so we get faster production speed. And uh, cool. So we got a tower coming up there as well. Is he going to go try and shut that down? Going to give me time to get back in the game. If he lets me produce here, I think we, we can potentially win. Okay, let's get an arrow tower. Okay, let's pick off these guys. Nice. And we got to pull you guys back out. Let's have you move over here. Set up some towers, secure the berry bushes, and then we're chilling. Okay. Yeah, I don't think going after the tower there is a good idea for him. Hmm, he is watching here. Clever girl. Okay, let's run in. Let's get our guys to go dive his archers. Kind of the same thing he's doing to us. And cancel and cancel. Ah, we're supply blocked, lovely. The fight doesn't feel great. Let's get back. Okay, you guys need to build some houses. He's just got more stuff, but not like that much more, but definitely enough to be noticeable. Okay, not bad, not bad. We are getting all this free gold during this too, so let's actually start like exchanging that out for things. And uh, yeah, we need to get these berry bushes, man. That, that's very important. Otherwise, we have to start switching to farms, which is kind of like crappy. We'll start like doing it a little bit. I wonder if he's going to be going castle behind this. I don't think so. If he does, then I'm in big danger for sure. Okay. Start buying some food. Keep hitting the lumber here. Set up another one of those to get some more upgrades. And cool. So now that these berry bushes are secure, then I think we can just kind of comfortably go to the next age. Yeah, that Barbican play in the middle was very, very good. I'm concerned he's going to go castle now, though. Yeah, it's going to be really scary if he does. Thankfully, he's not raiding on the other side. Oh, uh, let's have you just go chill down by this relic, buddy. Okay, he's going to decap that. You know what? We can actually go up there because he's going to take some losses. Although, he does have a battering ram. Interesting. Interesting ramage. All right, so let's go after this guy. Get a freebie there. Nice. Uh, how are we looking here? Can we get some archers? His army seems a little bit bigger than mine, actually. He does have the rams. So yeah, we definitely just go castle H here. Try and take advantage of that. Uh, yeah, this is not worth contesting. Not worth it at the moment. All right, so you guys, let's do this. We can go with the uh, compound of the defender because it's the coolest line mark ever. Our food is okay, but our, our free gold, the time of our free gold may be coming to an end here. We'll see where he comes next. Uh, now we need to set up for men at arm switch because men at arms are just really really good when you get castle okay and we're gonna just be grabbing all the goodies in terms of the relics yeah, he switched off gold which makes me think he's either mining somewhere else 
All right, let's go grab this. We need to get the relics. It's very, very important here. Let's jump you out. Have you go up here, buddy. And once we get castle, we can start pumping out men-at-arms, man. Yeah, I'll see if he wants to fight under the towers there. I don't think so. <sighs> Cursed wolf. Yeah, I'll take those free archers. Sounds good to me. Okay, so let's grab this. Bring it back. Grab this, buddy. Bring it back. Oh, did we just lose a bunch of workers up there? We did. He caught me not, he caught me not paying attention. Very well played. Very well played. Very sloppy on my part. Usually don't do that. I'm usually pretty good about that, but, you know. Sometimes you gotta pay the troll toll, man. And uh, today I have paid it. We are castle, though. We do have relics, so it's not over. Eh, he's castle, too. So what we do here is we buy some stone and we just build more TCs. And, you know, as much as I hate to say it, we're gonna have to macro with, macro with the old China here. Which is not what you want to be doing. He'd lose a bit. Okay, so relics, drop that off. And then you, buddy, can creep up here. And uh, drop this off. Yeah, it sucks. We lost quite a bit there. That's why we got to go 2TC to try and catch up. And we got you guys garrisoned here. Do we accidentally grab it out? I hate when you do that. All right. So let's get a little bit aggressive. You guys are supposed to return to work. Let's get you on there. We probably actually need to mine a little bit of gold now. Let's go up here and grab the sacred back if we can. He's making lancers. Hmm. We need to upgrade our spearmen. Beyond the dreaded potato age. If we could at least get some relics, that'd be nice. Alright, let's go see if we can get this one. If we can at least get a three relic advantage on him, that's gonna be nice. Alright, let's go, buddy. Grab that and then hustle down here. Let's get the uh, speed upgrades. We got the rest of you guys. Let's go here. Let's grab that. Oh my god, stop taking the relics out, please, for the love of the dark gods. This is very risky, guys. This is a very risky play, but hopefully he, he puts a little bit too much respect to my army here. Okay, so we're trying to grab this. We got the Scholar getting the goodies. We do have the compound of the Defender, but we don't really have much stone at the moment. I almost want to go triple TC against him. I almost want to go triple TC. Okay, let's get our, our infrastructure going there. All right, let's just get back. So now we just run away. We peel out, and then we can have a couple of you guys actually just build like a haggard stone, stone wall around this. Like, if he just lets us build a stone wall there, then that's going to take him a little while to ram down. We'll try it. I think it could be worth All right, let's get you guys on stone. So now we need to switch to, like, fat farms or something, because we're going to start running out of local food. Hmm, what does his army look like? Uh, it's not crazy good. I think it's still maybe slightly better than ours. All right, well, anyways, let's gather over there. Uh, we want to get the archer upgrades, yeah. All right, let's garrison you, and then you, buddy, can fill these up. Okay. Yeah, that army actually isn't that scary. Maybe his economy isn't very good. I don't know what would be going on there. All right, let's move in and fight. And get on the archers here. We got men-at-arms. Got scholars. We need to make sure they're dropping the fat heels. My spears, unfortunately, are from the potato age, but his archers are definitely getting mowed down a little bit. Wrong one. Yeah, he's focusing the scholar. See, I think we're winning this fight. It's very close, but um, it looks like yeah, we we won that one. Okay, that was actually really big. That could be like a game turning play. Ooh, that's a perfect roundabout right there. All right, that was that was pretty massive, guys. That was pretty massive. So we need to like wall the shit so we don't get raided, and then uh, we just kind of secure. We're gonna go for the dreaded triple TC deli. Got walls coming down around that sacred site there. Whew, this is a tense one. This is a tense one. I straight up thought I was losing, but um, I guess his eco wasn't very good. And we did get a, we did have the sacreds for a long ass time, right? So 
that is uh, something to consider as well. All right, guys. Awesome. Let's build a gatehouse here. You know, strangely enough, we just eco, which is so weird for Delhi. And, uh, of course, I forgot upgrades. Nice. Classic. Hmm. Yeah, he had a very good early game. But uh, that was a pretty disastrous little engagement for him. Because now we have triple TC. Let's set up our own little keep right here. Get a little bit aggressive out there and set up siege workshops too. So let's get some siege workshops. We don't need three of those. But we will need other infrastructure. So we're going to start just getting a ton of infantry. I'm more of an infantry player myself. I like infantry, so... We're going to do a, a really janky raid here. We're also going to build this and get a spring alt emplacement, which we can hide our trebuchets behind. And, uh, yeah, look at this. We have the, the, the tower coming. How cool is that? Nice, nice. We just have all this gold coming in as well. Welcome to the deli shop, baby. Can I take your order? All right, Dome of Faith is filling him up. Cool, so our, our stuff isn't going to be too bad. And uh, now we need to get you. Yeah, we don't have enough stone at the moment. We need to hit stone hard. It's so good for it's so good for Delhi, man. Our food is going to be dog shit soon, so we need to also start building farms. All right, so we got a little stone wall tower there. What we're going to do is just kind of like like pressure all these gold nodes on the map. Let's just raid here. This will be good. It'll give us an idea of what his army looks like. Yeah, because he's going to pull some troops to deal with this, and we'll get to kind of see what's cracking. All right, so let's get you. We want to get a mosque out here so we can uh, obviously do our thing. And a little tower there as well. All right, excellent. So men-at-arms, we definitely want to get some archery ranges. What are we playing against China? That's right, China. Okay. Wow, he's actually not even responding to that. <laughs> I love it. Look at that. Just fat stone wall around that. That's so nice. All right, so for the siege workshops, we're going to need some wood for sure. We got plenty on stone, I think. He's probably going Imperial Age, I guess. Okay, he doesn't. Need, apparently, he doesn't care about these horsemen raiding his base. Homie, homie does not care one bit. Okay, so we got 12 workers who's just finished here. Let's go get you guys on wood. Yeah, we're just getting a, a ton of free raiding here. Okay, what is he going? Crossbows and knights? Okay, so we got to start mixing in some spears then. Yeah, let's just focus on wood and, th and then switch to a big farm economy. I would love to get that. Once we get the trebuchets, we should be able to start pressing that. <laughs> Bone has been called a smoking hot wife before he has. That's true. All right, we'll start, like, preemptively setting up a giant wall there. But now he's, like, potentially going to get gold-starved here. That is the plan. Just ugly farm placement. You guys will notice that. Farm placement gets ugly, for sure. Yeah, so that great wall will finish. Uh, and then we just kind of secure the map. You know, I like to play Delhi like a, a boa constrictor. We have to we have to stranglehold our opponents. Village fortress, get that as well. Cool. And then we also have more farmland out here, so let's do this. So our farm our farm economy is gonna pick up, and we are on friggin' three TC. Oh, they didn't finish that. Wow, that's really shitty. Okay, well let's let's just shoot from here. It's fine for now. What does his army look like? Crossbows? Yeah, nothing that wants to face like a keep. You need to get some crossbowmen. Yeah, he's going to come down under here. I think we can beat him in open field with our main our main army for sure. Because he's going to just try and do like a ride by raid, but we'll, we'll be here and ready to intercept. I don't have the sprint ability yet. Very shitty. I should have had that a long time ago. Okay, the barbecue is almost down. He's got his little ride, ride by coming. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Just to make it a little bit easier to manage. We have 3 TC, so the villager thing isn't going to be so much of an issue, I don't think. We can make a scholar to go grab this, and then we're, we're chilling. Poor scholar. 
getting raided back there. Yeah, nice raid. That was a that was a very good play. I was definitely ill prepared for that. Okay, garrison up. Thankfully, there's plenty of places to hide. So he's gonna lose all those knights for you know a little bit of effort. We'll see what he actually ends up getting here. Let's go ahead and build this. Take down those knights, and yeah, he's got some more raiders hanging out nearby, but should be able to get those farms back online. And yeah, he's gonna lose all of them, or at least a lot. Back to work, you guys go. Back to work. And then let's get some spearmen coming here. The desperation tactics, for sure. Hopefully the village fortress upgrade will finish soon. And now we are contesting the sacred side as well. Oh, he does dive the mango. Okay, interesting. Let's go get another keep up. Nice little raid. Uh, are we fully walled here? Not yet. Okay, let's just... I feel like once we wall him off, he's just going to be dead. Our scholar's just absolute dark lord here. Get those last couple knights out of our base. Finish the wall, and then, you know, I think we're chill after that. Yeah, this will be the last raid he gets. The last effective raid, that is. What is our eco? Yeah, we're still at 88. We're totally fine. Okay. We're slowly keep advancing. And you know, this entire time we're just getting the sacreds. We gotta make it an absolute nightmare for him here. Oh my god, of course the wolf is on their side. Of course it is. Oh, uh, let's get some Dumbos. I'm not I'm not looking to go Imperial Age here. So if we if we actually manage to kill the clock tower. Was he going to let us get this? Oh, wait, he's building crossies. Okay, that's good, but... Okay, yeah, that's not going to happen. We're luring him back to the old realm. Oh, shit, he's Imperial. I did not notice that. Ooh, this is going to be harder than I thought. Okay, we need wood. Stat. So we can build spring alts. I did not notice he was Imperial, guys. Okay, let's get a couple of you guys to come repair this shit. Okay, well, Castle versus Imperial. Hopefully we can starve them out. Are these elite units? Oh, they are elite Lancers. Shit. Uh, do we take this fight here? I don't know. We can repair through one, but we do have a lot of keeps, though, so it's going to take them a hot minute to actually get through us here. Now Jumbos are on their way, too. Uh-huh, 20 workers. Sure. Do we not have enough gold? We don't, so let's go get you guys partying right there. We're going to do the English tactics of using, uh... Oh, man. Yeah. This is actually a little scary. It's actually a little bit scary here. I did not notice him get Imperial. Look at the Haggard Trebuchet trying to bombard there. That's so funny. Okay. Our food is now good. For sure. We're walled off mostly. We do have the Sacred Timer going. Our army supply is actually almost full, which is doesn't seem like the case. I'm like, I feel like I'm missing some of my army somewhere. Ah, just some idle spearmen that would be extremely useful. No biggie. Okay, he's eventually going to have to move through here. Aha! Oh, look at this. He's, he's setting up the dread walls. Even though bombards can't shoot through walls, which is kind of a strange, uh, strange choice, I think. Okay, let's just go do this. Oh man, my, my Haggard Spring Elds are just fleeing the scene. You know what? I think we can take the fight and just like try and push here. Yeah, well, let's just keep mustering a, just a Dread Legion of crap, crappy units here. We need to give our Springs back. Okay, so let's creep around and go get his Bombard Cannons. He's, he's got to be hurting on gold pretty bad, right? And we got a lot of units diving here. It's forcing him back. Okay, he does have three three units. Let's do this. Uh-huh. Get you guys. And let's just kind of keep hammering this down. Yeah, those elite units are making a big difference in terms of, like, in terms of the fighting. Okay, he's diving the trebuchets, but hopefully we can pick some of those guys. Okay, spring ults, you guys need to just chill in the back. Yeah, we can muster out a lot of shit, though. That's for sure. 
We even have the little towers back there. Okay, all of his knights just got wiped out. Like, I guess we just drown him in bodies. Right? And then let's get the springs. The springs we need to just, like, gather in the back to have sufficient numbers. Yeah, he's, like, up on the walls and shit. This is getting real messy. Ah, uh, doesn't seem to be going too great. He might be able to push us back here. Maybe a horseman switch or something? I don't know. Yeah, we need, like, a critical mass of spring alts. So those guys need to just come out here. Uh... All right, let's jump you guys out, boom, and boom. If we can break his bombards, we, we break his, his will, right? That's that's the that's the play. So we need enough to one-shot those bad boys. Because he is gold-starved, 100%. Our food per minute is okay. Uh, blacksmith upgrades need to still be coming. Let's do this. Should have done that a long time ago, but again, there's lots to manage. Okay. Got one keep left here. Oof. Do we make a hold on it? Do we make a fight? Okay, I think we do. Alright, so that looks good. Let's build some more houses. And then you guys can come and build another keep here. Okay, the spring are going deep. One bombard's down. Yeah, he's starting to hurt on gold, I think, honestly. He's not repairing his cannon, thankfully, so that's good for us. The, the, the spring alt switch was good. Yeah, the repairs on that cannon are nasty. Let's see if we can dive it. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, look at that. The villagers the villagers are able to get it. Thankfully, he, he let us get a handful of them before he re was able to react there. All right. So he's got a lot of villagers pulled. We have another keep coming up. Let's grab you guys and come and repair this keep in the meantime. He's only got one bombard left, though, so... That was pretty clutch. And the sacred timer is still going. Like, I, I don't see the point of going Imperial either. Just build another keep here. E, e, there we go. Keep drowning them in bodies. Take the gold off the map in the meantime. Not that we, you know, are hurting for it. But now we have seven Spring Alds. Yeah, he might be trading, but... I don't know. We will perhaps go and find out. I would wager he, he just goes for one of those up there. That seems a lot easier. Okay, you guys chop wood nearby. It's our build count. Yeah, 106. If we could just pop up real quick and, like, snipe a couple sprint, uh, bombards, that would be really sweet. Ah, clever girl, see? he's He has learned the ways, but the problem with this one is it's open field. So we can, uh, we can fight him in open field here, right? Yeah, let's get this set up. Should have a keep there in a minute. Okay, let's get this keep. Okay, no trade going. Did, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. You guys ready for the fun times? Surprise! I am actually kind of entrenched here. One more shot and the, 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 the bombard will kill it. Nice. Yeah, you can have the walls, dude. You're good, homie. I ain't trying to take away your fun times. We'll move in. Just keep springing them down. Well, we have some dudes there to go grab that. The dreaded deli shop is showing no mercy today. So, check this out. We're going to... Yeah, nice, and we got a bunch of hand cannoneers too. That's pretty that's pretty massive. GG. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Can't believe we won that shit. Castle Delhi versus Imperial China all day. Well played. Well played, dude. Oh my god. The spring alt switch when we got the scholars in there was was the moment we got the game back. We 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 had such an eco advantage on him. Guys, remember we were triple TC. He had one TC. Yeah, he was on one TC for most of that game, it looks like. And we had triple, so we were able to just just out out resource him. Plus all the free stuff we were getting from the uh from the sacred sites. Ooh, buddy, let's go! That was awesome. I can't believe we won that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Yeah, just he he stayed on one TC because he was having to fight my sacred sites, but then we got them for a while. 
<laughs> we had this haggard operation here, which is one of my favorites. The minstrels will sing of this day. I know. Deli OP. Definitely not OP. He was on 1TC against 3TC. That's why he lost. And we had village fortresses we weren't even using. Um, cool. All right, let's do another one more ranked game. Hey, Melody, so we're undefeated in ranks, but we had a crash on our FFA, which is unfortunate. Um, let's look at the villager count. He did have some good raids on us. Yeah, even after his raid, which was pretty good, we uh, we skyrocketed ahead. We were at like 115 versus like 85 for him. Let's look at the eco. Yeah, look at that. He beat us on food pretty pretty solid, but everything else we, we certainly uh, did well on. Hmm. I don't get out of bed for anything less than four TCs. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, the spring olds, man, they did it. Just the deli, just with a ton of food, just throwing bodies at them, man. That's that's how we do it. I was basically just trading all my gold to uh, <laughs> to just build keeps everywhere. All right, let's uh, let's get one more ranks game in there, and then we'll uh, we'll chill out. When does this rank season end? I think it's June twentieth. Yeah, I think it's June twentieth. Man, it'd be cool to get conqueror, wouldn't it? I don't, I don't think I'm that good, but you never know. Oh, Hill and Dale. Okay, let's see if we're gonna get. Okay, we're facing. Uh... Holy shit! This guy has a lot of games played. Look at that. God damn. Four hundred and forty-six games played in ranked so far. And for reference, guys, I have forty-two ranked games played. Jeez. No, uh, today is a deli focus stream. I'm trying to trying to really give the deli some love because apparently they have the lowest win rate in, in diamond and platinum or diamond and uh, and conquer. So I'm trying to trying to make him make him good. Any plans for tomorrow? Yeah, I'll probably stream in the morning. I don't know what, but most likely Age of Empires or something. Yeah, really not. I mean, Total War just doesn't tickle my pickle right now. Unfortunately, I, I'm gonna keep posting tournaments because I do. I'm passionate about the tournaments, but holy romans, huh? I need you to keep grinding so I can brag that I'm a mod for a Conqueror stream. See, if you could just get Conqueror once, then you get the icon forever, which is pretty sweet. FFA after this, yeah. We'll do a big FFA to close things out after this. I love Age of Empires. I really like this game. I It's so nice having like a classic RTS back, you know? All right, looks good. And then we can go ahead and pull you in. At... So HRE, I don't even know what HRE players do nowadays. They got all all kinds of changes. All kinds of changes. Conqueror is a little bit of a steep one for me. I, I don't I don't think I have have that, but I mean you never know, any given Sunday. Yeah, Bassett I think have a better win rate than Delhi. Yeah. I'm not sure though. Somebody might want to look up that infographic. It was on the Reddit. Uh elephant spam? Eh, they're okay. More like crossbow spam. Crossbow spam is pretty good against HRE because it counters knights as well as uh, men at arms. But again, I think opening up with horsemen is really good for map control because you can raid. You know, you can do so much different stuff. Uh, all right, we'll get on gold next. Pretty good little sheep haul here. Ah, uh, total war will be back. It'll be back, guys. It's just, uh, it's just not in a great spot right now. The launch was. I mean, the new factions are fun, but they're pretty bare bones compared to the old ones. Multiplayer, you know, domination in many ways did split the multiplayer community, which kind of sucks. Like, like I think it's uh, the game mode has a ton of potential and it's, it can be fun, but it is a bummer how it split the community so hard. I wish there was something in between. Yeah, that's just my two cents. All right, so let's grab you guys. We can go ahead and build this. Let's go scouting. Two pretty good sacred site positions. I mean, they're pretty neutral more or less, but... Well, I think you're challenger. Thank you, emo hippie. Whatever. If you say that, you know, if you think I am, you've manifested that into existence there, haven't you? I'll do this and then do this. Another relic. This is very much like a battle over relics type game, right? Just scrapping over the goodies. But HRE can get castle faster than Delhi, for sure, because of the uh, because of the, the prelates and stuff. So we might just have to yield that aspect of things, dude. If there's a sacred in this corner, I'm gonna have a full chub. Will I play in the FFA? Uh, we'll put it to a poll, see what you guys want to see. I don't mind casting it either, so. Okay. Now we need to bank a little bit of food. One, so you guys do this, switch over here. Okay, here's the HRE man. So it's, it's probably up in the top left, unfortunately. 
Hanging out in that neighborhood. Oh, forgot the efficient production and the piety. Love it. Classic stuff. What about Warhammer 2 tournaments then? Ah, you know, that's the thing. Like, I'm kind of over the issues of land battles too. I legit had somebody just quit during one of my tournaments because they didn't like the rules judgment the other day, like in the grand finals. You know, that kind of like broke my will for it. I was like, dude, like I spent all this time setting this up and then that kind of stuff happens. But yeah, I'll, I'm, when Warhammer 3 gets its Mortal Empire stuff, I'm for sure going to be um, having tournaments. Yeah, late stream. It's late now. We've been we've been on for a hot minute. Yeah, so HRE starts with a... Okay, I can see where it is now. So let's just bring the sheep back to make sure we don't lose them to some stupid shit. Go scout. And uh, yeah, build another... Oh. Got to build a house a little bit more efficiently there. Oh, is he going pro? Oh, he's just going to set up. Uh, he's just going to set up a little. Uh, ooh, nice. Aachen deer camp. He doesn't even have to do pro scouts for it. That's pretty sweet. Good for him. Spare the hands. <laughs> Let the boys fight. Yeah, we probably will. All right. So let's grab a couple of you guys. Turn in. Turn in. Dome of Faith. Perfect. Usually, I like to go six on Dome of Faith because getting Sanctity out quickly is nice. He's, he was pretty far ahead in terms of uh, his, his landmark being built, too. Alright. Most HRE players open horsemen. Most do, for sure. Yeah, it's true, Central. The Conqueror player wouldn't have forgot about that one thing. That is 100% true. Why is he gonna, is he gonna harass me with his two scouts? Okay, Feudal Age. We are a little ways behind him, unfortunately, so... We are paying the troll toll a little bit there. If we can get 150, then we can switch on over. I wonder, wonder why he's chasing me with such fervor. Some sort of ancient blood feud, I suppose. Okay, let's turn in. You guys turn in. You jump on wood. You need to get a lot of wood with this build, because you're going to be setting up towers on the uh, sacreds. It's very, very important stuff. Let's see what's going on in the neighborhood. Oh, hey. What's going on here, lady? So let's get you down here. We can secure the back one first. Is he tower rushing me or some weird shit? Okay, and then you can jump to food. For sure I want to hunt that lady down. We can send a villager up there too, but we don't have enough to build a military building at the moment. Oh wow, look at that. That's an uh, aggressive tower there. But we should be able to stop it with just a bunch of horsemen probably. That's, that's commitment. That's serious commitment. Okay, so let's stop this. And then get Sanctity. And we get a couple of Scholars coming out. And we are chilling. If I can get two of them, that's like that's like a win, right? If I can get two towers up. Okay, 11 on wood seems to be good enough. We're going to get that one up on the bottom most likely. Because yeah, he's harassing my base, which... It's fine. We don't care about that. There's no vulnerabilities, really. Okay, get a couple horsemen popping out. He's probably just going fast castle, though, 100%. I don't think his little gamble here is going to distract me too much. If I'm going to lose to any Civ, it's got to be HRE, the true chads. Ah, too late. Joke's on you, lady. All right, let's take this lady down here. He's going to see the dreaded horseman arrive in a moment, and it's, he's going to realize it's too late. Okay, let's get you here. How's Sanctity looking? We have a little bit of time. And we should have another horseman coming out here in a second. Here we go. Okay, let's run the injured guy into the tower. Continue shanking down this worker. Yeah, now that horsemen are here, shit's getting real. Good night, sweet prince. Oh, we actually... Look, we got a surround on that scout! Oh, it looked like we did for a second. That would have been some shit, wouldn't it? I wonder what his response is going to be, honestly. Yeah, he's trying to set up a tower here. Cheeky, cheeky. Not going to work out. Ooh, look at that. He even built a stone tower with an arrow slit and everything. The problem is, I was able to secure two of them, so for him, that's uh, it's a little bit tricksy. Okay, so let's go shut this lady down. 
And we can set up another tower here. And we should be able to get a couple of you guys on gold. So we can actually build the emplacements. And uh, yeah, all right. 12 workers, you know, I wonder how long they were idle for, goodness. And you go down here, buddy, and up to the sacred site. Cool, so yeah, we're not gonna get the third one with much ease. So we're just gonna chill on two sacreds. We're just gonna be chilling out on two sacred sites. Um, do we wanna get an archer range? Probably. He's probably gonna come out with some sort of horseman blitz of his own or spearman or some shit. And you head back to the base, lady. Nice. Let's go see what he's up to in his base now. That's definitely going to slow his uh, castle progress. Okay, and then we get the arrow slit here. This lady's being hunted by all the wolves of the realm. The wolves of the old world have teamed up to fight us. Where's that scholar at? Come on, buddy. You get there a little bit quicker. Let's run you up here. Let's go see what's going on. Probably not going to be fast castle. Oh, okay, he's got a blacksmith, so maybe some Ramstein gonna be coming in? You gonna make me listen to the old Duhas? You know, if he doesn't have anything to defend this, we could actually just start torching this shit. Oh my god, look at the range on that. It's pretty insane. So we managed to get two sacreds, which is pretty awesome. Make that out of stone. And now we just kind of slowly push to the castle age, because our gold is gonna skyrocket. I think we can start preparing for, like, aggression from him. Okay, he's building houses. Yeah, Castle Age. Oof. Okay, guys, we need to for sure secure some relics. So let's uh, let's go see if we can get a, like a tower over here or something. Move over there. Make sure he doesn't get too many. Okay, you camp this one. He's definitely gonna get the one in the middle, like 100%. There's no there's no stopping that. But if we, if we can deny a couple at least, that's gonna be pretty nice. Yeah, let's let him come out first and think he's safe. And let's go. He might still make it back to his base. I don't think so, though. Yeah, we got the stagger on him there. This relic could perhaps be on the field as well. Okay, one prelate down. Is he going to try and torch that tower? We do need to get a marketplace to spend our newly acquired gold. So that was pretty clutch, and yeah, he's running villagers past my scholar here for some godforsaken reason. I have no idea why. Uh, looks like the relics are still in play. He might go for the one in the middle here. Okay, let's do this, and then we can go ahead and get the compound of the defender. And uh, we need to go ahead and make some more archery ranges, because we're just going to go crossbows. He's, he's clearly teched into men-at-arms. Yeah, he's going to run it down to the tower. That's a good play. See, I can't really stop that, but the relic is very, very uh, open and exposed. Okay. So we got crossbow tech at the ready. Let's go ahead and wall like the sides of our base so we don't lose to some stupid, stupid shit. That's a lot of men at arms. That is a lot, actually. Uh, do we have any scholars chilling nearby? Let's get you in position to grab that. We have a scholar in here. Let's get him in position to grab this. And if we can at least deny a couple of them. Yeah, that's not going to live. Could have gone Lancers too. Lancers would have been very strong. Alright, so let's get you, and then you guys can head down here. Come on, give me the Castle Age. Give it to me, Precious. Very, very close to it. And then we can just start massing out crossies. And up you go. And you grab this, buddy. And there you go. So let's get upgrades, upgrades. 11 dudes chilling out. You know, we can probably just focus on these resources. Once these guys get to the berry bushes, our food economy will be salvaged. Because right now it's pretty god-awful. Yeah, he's going to he's gonna shut us down in a couple aspects of the game. But we did get the relics, which is good. So I think we're going to get three relics in total. Um, Let's make sure we don't like just die to like a men-at-arms all in. I think we just build it wooden palisades here. Why is it not letting me do that? Okay. Crossies. Let's go to the marketplace, buy some food. We have a lot of free gold. You guys jump on wood. 
Yeah, he's losing some men at arms here. He definitely is. Did we get the relic back yet? We didn't. Okay, so let's do this and then come down here. If you want to get the swiftness upgrade ASAP. All right, crossbows. We need to get a lot of them to battle these men at arms. And then we kind of make an effort to go get the uh, the map back. You, let's build some palisades over here. And we, we, we are going to jump onto some stone too. Because we need that for the uh, compound of the defender. And also to get more TCs if we want to macro with this guy. It's going to be very tough. Hmm. Okay, let's see if we can get this wall up before he realizes I'm in that corner. Hopefully, hopefully we do. Okay, perfect. So this one is going to be grabbed by homeboy. And then you can move out with the crossbow legion. Oh, he's actually like palisading that. Look at that. Okay, very scrappy. We do have relics and a lot of crossbowmen. So let's move out. Oh, that's really unfortunate timing. That's the nature of the beast, man. Sometimes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Let's move up here. See if we can get this back. And uh, you guys, in the meantime, build some houses. And you come build some farms. We're going to have to, you know, do something with our food here. Thankfully, we didn't lose any bills. So it is what it is. Let's pull you guys back. Uh, is there any other food sources on the map? There is. Okay, some deer camps here. See if we can snipe this character down. Ah, she got in the base and all I have is crossies. Ooh, man, I'm in, I'm in a lot of danger. He's Imperial Age right now, guys. All right, let's grab this. This is not what Delhi was made for. This is not what Delhi was made for, because he is probably just macro god right now. Uh, maybe knights are actually better here. We can see if he's trying to get any map control. Probably are just going to have to go multiple TC. How am I going to counter it? I'm not. That's probably the answer, the answer here, bud. Yeah, we're going to have to just pull back and deal with this raid. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was bad. The pathing on that was terrible. I should have just built a gate here. Okay, a little bit sloppy this game, but it's not the end of the world. Let's get you down here, buddy. So the men-at-arms are in. We almost secured that. Man, if we had just gotten that secured, I'd be feeling very cozy. I actually don't have much eco for him to even raid in the first place, which is kind of funny. He's probably like, where are all this guy's villagers? Well, at the very least, these men-at-arms are going to be free. No, they'll get a couple farms, so that's it. He'll be here in soon. He will be here soon. Yeah, stone towers. Okay, let's get some blacksmiths. One, two. Got those men at arms. You guys can go finish the towers here. Maybe I just do need to get like Dumbos or some shit, huh? Okay, so we just wiped those men at arms out. Homeboy's sitting very cozy at the moment, though. Like, very, very cozy. Alright, let's have you guys do this, and one of you can do that. Hmm. I guess we just make Lancers, dude. And just hope he doesn't have the heavy mace upgrade. This guy's beast mode in it. Okay, we... Oh, I just bought stone on accident. Oh, instead of, instead of the resources for the second TC. Okay, so we just have to eco and just hope we can survive. Hmm. Okay, Lancers are on their way. Do this. Maybe grab you guys and build a little keep up here in the center. Try and secure some ground. Need to deal with that side position. Start all, all the upgrades. Alright, wish us luck! Yeah, the front wooden wall I don't really care that much about, to be honest. I wonder if he's doing any gold up here. Let's go see if we can scout with that guy. Okay, so second TC is coming up. Did we ever finish that side? No, we didn't. Okay, so let's go finish this, and then this, and then this. So he does have the sacred site. So let's creep around here. How many relics did we end up getting? I think we still have our third one chilling here. Yeah. Every little bit counts, man. Every little bit counts. Okay, so we do have the double TC now. So this is where it could get a little bit better for us. Even though he's Imperial and there's just going to be just these like crazy elite units coming for us. Is he on the stone here? Or on the gold? No, okay. 
I don't even know if he's really like playing for the middle control. He's got like a random ass tower over there. I don't think the Dumbos are going to be particularly good at the moment. Okay, let's get a couple more mosques. Dude, we are uh, we are definitely getting pushed hard though. He's he's got to be cackling all the way to the bank at the moment. We do have the TCs. I mean, it's a, it's an attempt to come back. You know, it's an attempt to come back mechanic. We'll mine a little bit here. Like I I am afraid to see what his army actually looks like. Okay, it's fine. Get a mosque out here to get the upgrade speed. We're going to set this up, see if we can get like some little towers here for a little bit of map control. It's going to see that coming though, but we always have the keeps to fall back to. All right, let's do this. And uh, more Lancers. Sure, why not? Yep, we got a fire chuck down. And then you guys can just come back here and uh, work these berry bushes. Try and get us to Imperial slowly. Hopefully he's just not like doing great on gold. That's, that's kind of what I got to be banking on here. Do you have any food out here? Yeah, so Delhi can't use boars, unfortunately. So we just get trolled there. How's our eco coming? 60? We could get one Dumbo to help us like break these little annoying towers on the map. Oh my god, the, the dreaded villagers just taking the terrible pathing. Okay, let's get some farms. I think we try a run by just to get a look at what his army looks like. You guys can chill out here a little bit in the meantime. You do this. Let's go see if we can get a raid into him. We do have this, this position back here in the base too. Let's see if we can jump on those deer. Alright guys, I have no idea what's going on in the map, but we will have some Dumbos out soon. He's not walled. Homie has elite men at arms and bombard cannons. Oh god. This is just this is just straight doom. Like Haggard Delhi against Imperial Age upgraded HRE, dude. The end has come, ladies and gentlemen. Our win streak, I think, has come to a screeching halt. And Swabia just like making tons of villagers. Although granted this raid is going reasonably well. It's buying time, you know, it's taking pressure off the more important aspects of the map. Maybe we gotta just go like mass horsemen. Oh my god, look how... How did I get surrounded there? What the hell? That's weird. Well, anyways. Um, yes, the gatehouse, did we just open it? I think we did. Yeah, it's been closed. I, I would wager he's on, you know, not a ton of TCs, but... We gotta go 3 TC. Just every desperate trick we can to try and hold here. And you guys come over. Uh, Tower War Elephant, sure, why not? We're staying in Castle Age anyways. So, it is what it is. Dude, those men at arms are going to just be so problematic to deal with. Uh-huh. So, Jum of Faith, where are you at? you got to try and get some of that religious action going. This guy's down there. There is a relic in there, so then we should probably wait for more. Uh, let's get horsemen. Horsemen are decent like tanks. Oh my god, look. Even the wolves are working for the HRE today. Alright, let's take this down if we can. We finish this tower. Yeah, we were able to heal through it pretty well. Alright, so upgrades and upgrades the next set. He's got a big angry army coming that way. So, you know what? Honestly, uh, I think we just stonewall this shit. To make sure we don't get backdoored there. It's taking a long time to finish this off. Oh, uh, this army is not colossal. Maybe we can drown him in the in the swarm of TCs. Set up Farmville. It does take a while to bring those down, but yeah, the little spring all tower is helping. Unfortunately, it takes Delhi like 10 years to upgrade all that. So we're going to lose our control of our sacred sites now. But we are going to get a relic from him here if he's not paying attention, which is, uh, you know, quite nice. Okay, how's it looking, Farmville? Come on, elephant, get that attack. Okay, we'll grab this and then we'll peace out. Go back to the base. Hey, look at that, four relics, not bad. 
Not bad at all. And you know what we probably need is, um, let's go ahead and get this and get you guys in the base. Build some houses here. We need siege workshops. We need the siege workshops. So let's get those here. I have no idea what his army looks like, but now we're just going to hoard this relic back. Ah, he got the villagers. That's why we have three TCs, though. There's only a handful, I think. Yeah, they're definitely not going to get in. Okay, Burning Oil is about to finish. Now, maybe we can move up. Do a little bit of sniping. Are these horsemen upgraded yet? God damn, that upgrade takes so long. It takes so long to finish. Okay, let's see if we can fight these guys. And set up some towers here to deny them a little bit of stone. These are elite, but we have a lot of crossies. So, I mean, any picks we can get. And he only has one relic, so... You know, he could potentially run out of gold. Yeah, those bombard cannons are not happy at all. And uh, let's get this. And then afterwards, you guys can run over here and do this. Uh, we need to decap this site, so let's get you on there. Keep is getting thumped. I mean, can we actually win a fight against him here? Ooh, that does not look likely. But yeah, we need to just let that keep sacrifice itself for the greater good. All right, so up to the trees you go. We did decap this sacred, and that one is currently not being uh, had either. So maybe if we get a bunch of springs, we can beat him in that in that Mortal Kombat fight. Maybe. Certainly not likely, but it's uh, it could happen. This is turning into an Iron Bladder win? I don't know. His army's pretty mean. We just have this random building out here. This like tower over here. Does he have a cannon tower or something? Probably a spring, spring emplacement. The problem is, even though we have him relic starved, um, he's Imperial in number one. And let's go ahead and grab you guys and then have you jump in there so we can turbo produce units. And uh, we got you five. Build a house here. Yeah, I mean, our army's not bad. It's not bad. This would be a pretty insane win, though, if we manage it. This would definitely be a big, a big crazy one. Uh, didn't we have two of these? Okay, Dome of Faith. Let's get in here. So we need to just get a, a ton of springs and basically everything that counters men at arms. And then we're chilling. That's that's our, our game plan. That's all we can do. And just hope he doesn't get too much map control. Oh, he's, he's ramming over there. Interesting. All right, so yeah, let's fight this. If he wants to fight, I think we can win this for sure. Like, the men-at-arms will get wrecked by a lot of these type of units. All right, so let's just go take these out. Or maybe they won't. The Dumbos are, of course, in the more primitive age. Okay, the men-at-arms numbers are actually getting lowered quite a bit. Let's pull you guys back. He's, he's clearly going to go for the springs. We need to keep those spring alts, like, alive. There's a little like cheeky tactic you can do with gates with this type of thing. So we just give him a, a good old loop around here. So check this out. You guys ready for the tactics? No, we just run through the gates and he won't be able to chase through. It's pretty funny. Uh, all right. So to see if we can snipe a little bit here. Okay, maybe we get one cannon down now. And then we need more springs here. Okay, we killed one Bombard Cannon. His army quality is just a little bit too good, I feel. Like, our, our, our artillery's units are doing okay. Oh my god, and how did, he, how did he have those guys there too? Come on, Springs. We need you guys. He's probably mining so much gold on the map right now. Can we get the wall off here? At the expense of a couple of our brave uh, brave soldiers. Or brave citizens. Yes, looks like it. So yeah, like, you guys see the trading isn't terrible, but he's got map control now. That's going to be a tricky pickle. More springs, please. How are the Lancers doing back there? Hopefully decent. Okay, uh, 42 workers just casually hanging around. Let's go mine some gold. And you guys can build... Build a little tower there to get some emplacements on. Yeah, our wood is also a little bit grim bones as well. 
It's a tight game, guys, but he's he's definitely ahead. He's got all these like stone towers everywhere. Let's get you down here and down here to decap this. If we can hug the wall. The crossbows traded very well, though. I was very very happy with their performance. Alrighty. Oh my god, those guys are still there. I thought I sent something to go deal with them. I guess not. We might have too many springs now. We might have too many. Yeah, let's turn in here. Bring you guys back. Head up this direction. And uh, we can just have you guys work that gold over there and just get as much as we humanly can. Oh, that's not good. Let's get back. Let's get the men at arms or the archers going over here. You guys just go work this. Spring alds that could. Let's see if we can snipe these down. Okay, looks good. Nice. They can rebuild the walls down there too. Pretty big, actually. We just got a bunch of bombard cannons for free. That's uh, that's pretty massive. I don't know those those elite men at arms though are just very strong. So we got the artillery advantage. We did kill a lot of men at arms again, but he's just got so much map control. I don't see us getting out to the next age here. Right, let's do this and see if we can come down here and secure something there. How's our villager count? Pretty decent still, actually. Uh, do we have any stone we could gather out here? Not quite. Okay. Okay, let's do a little raid. We have some artillery. Holding on like champs. That is for sure. Garrison this tower. The rest of you attack. Hey, that's Vils that are going down there. He does have Swabia, though. How are we doing? Man, I can't believe we're still kind of in this game. But it's just not straight up over yet. Uh, more farms in the back, probably, is what we're going to need to do. Okay, you guys do this. Go torch the rams down. Can we get some big artillery? I don't think so. Yeah, eventually all the resources on the map will simply just run out, right? And then we can we can just cackle. Alright, more crossbows. Oh! All according to plan? Yeah, just not my plan, exactly. That's, uh, they're, they're, that is such an uh, accurate statement. And you guys just jump on the farms or the gold over here. Whatever, it's fine. All right, counterweight trebuchet. What do you got for me? Food and gold. That's all we got. That's all we got. All right, so we got a nice little tower there. He's got a bunch of men at arms doing some sort of a buggy dance. Some sort of a tribal dance that I'm not aware of. A lot of men at arms. If I could manage to get Imperial, that'd be pretty sweet. You need to keep the springs back. Can't really even guard them. Oh, there's so many. He's got so much, he's so ahead. He's, he's not even... Okay, now he's microing. I was going to say, he's not even paying attention to my artillery. That's how little respect he has for my uh, for my artillery stuff here. Let's set up a keep here. All right, now we're getting into like straight-up desperation tactics, guys. No, HRE's not too strong. He, he did a really good job. Um, my whole strategy was banked around the Sacreds, and he kind of denied it very well. Uh, let's see what we got going here. But I do think HRE is stronger than Delhi, for sure. But um, it's no excuse. Okay. Are we actually going to hold here? Some weird sci-fi shit happening. Thankfully, he's not diving the springs. He could be diving my spring alds. And then down here, we can have you guys repair this. Okay, now he's diving the spring alds, yeah. Clever girl. He is evolving. Our opponent is ever evolving and ever learning. Keeps coming up. Like, some civs would be good here, like England. I might have some tools for, like, holding and stuff, but... Dude, what's going on with those men at arms over there? You guys see that? They're just, like, bugging out super hard. Oh, my God. Oh, there's so many of them. He wants the relics, guys. He sees it. Look, he, he sees the relics. He's like, oh, baby. Give me those goodies. Uh-huh. Okay, that's fine. We'll jump on gold back there. 
Uh, GG well played. Yeah, we can't really do too much there. We uh, we didn't do a good enough job getting getting the sacreds. We didn't. It was it was a good try though. It was a good try. He was a formidable player for sure. I wonder how what Delhi does though. Yeah, because that's actually most civs can't go fast imperial fast castle as well as HRE. But I feel like that kind of counters my sacred strategy a little bit. I mean, his towers were very good, firstly. But what I felt like is even when I did get two sacreds on him, he was already castle age with men at arms running out. How many TCs did he have? Yeah, just one. Just oh oh, Burgrave. Interesting. Yeah, because he lost all the relics, so Burgrave is a good choice. So he did not have infinite gold, actually. If we could have denied map control, he might have been able to win that. But yeah, well played. Well played. That was a very good game. Okay, let's see the villager count. Yeah, it was not bad. But Swabia is too much to keep track of. <clears throat> it's too, it's too, it's hard to keep track of for sure. I kind of want to do one more ranked game. How long have we been streaming? We're th three and one in rank today. Yeah, I feel like the sacred was maybe wrong against HRE. Maybe against HRE we go fast castle too and grab the relics and I don't know. Mark says turn. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I just choked on water. Turn uh, playing AWE4 reminds you of the Black Knight Monty Python. Yeah. I usually scrap for a while because I've had a lot of crazy comebacks. Uh, uh, not yet. So we're going to do one more ranked match. One more ranked. One more game. One more game. And we'll see what we can do. Uh, I suck at French Pwn. I actually, you know, I'm playing at a pretty high level with, in Diamond. So if I were to play someone I wasn't very good at, I think I'd be in danger. Delhi, Delhi and HRE are ones I know how to play. England. We'll do an England game, actually. We played a lot of Delhi today. Four and one. I think we're three and one today in ranked. The FFA is coming. Don't worry. It's we always end with it. So you guys will get a big, probably two-hour, chunky FFA game. Hang on. Let me put it to a poll and see what you guys want to see. Uh, okay. Last game. Normal FFA. Nomad. F Let's see. Like a random FFA, or do we want to see a two v two v two v two? Yeah, you guys can vote. Oh, I was just thinking that, Carl. Yeah. Let me know. Any tips for better micro? Man, it that's just that's really micro is just a repetitions thing, you know. Just getting them reps in and getting that practice. England is my city. What? I feel like I know that from somewhere. I feel like it's like an old meme that has faded into the sands of time. Yeah, so you guys vote on what you want to see. This is going to be after this last 1v1 here. We'll uh, we'll do this. Uh, so Mega Random. Wow, holy shit. I didn't expect the normal FFA to get crushed so badly. So the 2v2v2 would be like a team FFA, essentially. And uh, yeah, you guys let us know what you want to see. I'm going to let this run like through most of the game so we can actually accumulate a, a decent a decent sample size there. All right, let's see how long we've been streaming for. Ah, two and a half hours, nice. we still got plenty of time. Okay, Hill and Dale again. So apparently HRE is just unholy on this map. Probably going to run into some HRE. Very, very good win rate from this gentleman. Very solid. Probably going to just be a Mongol Tower Rusher, I would imagine. We're going to go English. English, uh, they're pretty impervious to Mongol Tower Rushes. Plus, I like using infantry. 2v2v2 is really fun, yeah. It's cool. You got a teammate, you guys can scheme. Do a big alpha strikes to try and take out other civs. I mean, and we could even do the 2v2 FFA guys on, uh, on what's it called? On a mega random map, is what I'm saying. Sorry, I'm just munching it. I'm getting hungry. When the streams go for a while, you know, the Nurglings must feast. Chinese, okay, it's fun. China's really good on Hill and Dale. Very, very strong. But yeah, we have all the answers against Tower Rushes. We can we can fend it off. And that's one of the reasons why I mained English for so long, is because I hate getting Tower Rush, so. And you can't Tower Rush England. You can, but it's kind of crappy. Oh, what the hell was that? It just like deselected my units. That was weird. Never had that. Haven't had that happen before. Yeah, that that last game he, he got Imperial so quickly. Oh my god, that would have been really shitty if I didn't notice those two bills in there. 
All right, so yeah, let's just creep out onto the map and see what we can find. So we're obviously going for a quick lumber because we want to play Farmville. It's why you play England is for the farms. So we don't care about the sheep on the map too much aside from our initial food source. But uh, yeah, looks good to me so far. So usually English players are slightly delayed unless they're doing some sort of a longbow all in, which I haven't seen a longbow all in in a long time. Personally, I don't like rushing, so for me, it's you know, it's it's very you know, it's nice. Hmm. So five and five, we can set up our farm bill. We could actually do this too. This is pretty good because it hits that deer hunt, as well as that. Uh, oh, I should have dropped off the food before I started building. Oh well. So a couple sheep so far. Hitting the wood pretty hard. Keep pumping out the bills. It's funny, I'm still playing with the deli mindset. I'm like looking around for the sacred sites, like as if that's like, that's that's the spice of life. All right, she dropped off that food, so I didn't actually end up losing that food. It's not my birthday yet. That I actually thought that meme had died. The, the it's my birthday every day meme. I thought I thought that had faded into antiqu antiquity, but apparently not. It still lurks in the shadows. Yep, set up more farms, please. I mean, not too much in info to be had by scouting China right now, but we're still going to do it. I'm going to set up my gold vein now as well. A little bit of a forward gold, but a slightly vulnerable to a Chinese tower rush, maybe. Yeah, I feel like if you don't have two scouts, like you just you're you're so limited on the battlefield in many ways, in terms of like early game shenanigans and stuff. Imperial England can for sure fight these guys. I think Imperial England can fight Imperial China. It's it's grindy, and they usually have like slightly better trades, but you have the infinite gold, so you can kind of get away with that. All right, so let's just keep creeping around here, seeing what we can find. All right, let's go get the the farm the farm field going. Who is running past my base with a lot of sheep? Somebody had a pretty good haul for themselves. Keep switching into Farmville here. How many do we have on gold? Yeah, we need at least three or four. How are you doing on cheap, buddy? Not too hot? Well, we'll go see what's on the edge of the map here. <laughs> yeah, my birthday is coming up, actually. It's in July. Man, time flies. Time flies so fast. Yeah. It's crazy shit, man. I'm going to be turning 34. Remember when I turned 30. Okay, so we're doing pretty good on food now. Like I said, it's like slightly delayed, but oh, he, he got a little bit spicy over there. If I had been like paying super close attention, he might have been able to get him there. Thankfully, he, didn't, he also didn't scout my farms, so he doesn't know the degree to which I have the dreaded farming operation. All right, so let's go see what's over here. Just make sure there's no like relics for late game. You know, you still want to know where everything is there. But yeah, this is a pretty greedy opening, but it seems to be pretty meta. Because it allows you to go fast castle so effectively. So you just have this like steady food source. Oh, hello. Alright, so let's pull you guys. Then we can go for the, the Abbey of Kings. I almost did Abbey of Kings. That would have been pretty bad. Having longbows like just coming out quick is so nice. Even, and that, this landmark's good even in Imperial. Granted, Abbey might be a better landmark in Imperial Age. It might be. For sure. Okay, so we can get you guys off. Switch you on to lumber here. China with the barbecue. Let's go see if we can attack some of the workers. You know, say hello. We will attack here. So he's going to have the barbecue pretty soon, but we're just going to hit the lumber hard once again. Mm, could even go for the deer camp there. Oh, he's going to finish that, and I'm going to get karate chops. Uh, okay. Yeah, he's looking to expand, which is fine. So we just go fast castle and get the relics and... Uh, and, you know, get the King's Palace to compensate for that. Huh? We can start saving up. Switching you guys over here. We'll keep an eye on the Chinese, see what schemes they got, but feeling pretty cozy. And as far as Farmville goes, that's a little bit risky because it's so far forward. I think, like, further back is probably better. We have some natural food sources in our base that, you know, we could hit, but... All right, let's go creep around the back and see. He's for sure going 2TC song, though. The song boom is, is strong indeed. I could go like a triple TC myself. Feels pretty janky, though. And, huh? Just keep scaling. King's Palace can kind of catch us up. 
Just uh, to see. Oh, yeah. How, I wonder how the. I didn't quite catch the finals. I was watching most of the stream for the EGC TV fun finale. Okay, that should be enough on gold. And when you guys finish this, you can switch to lumber and then set up those farms. Could make some longbows. Don't know if we need to. We'll scout for military infrastructure. I think I think this is just going to be a greed versus greed game. Could do like a proxy archery range back here. That would actually be pretty good. Oh my god, like right here? This is so vulnerable. But obviously the TC covers it for just my scouts. Oh, no. Farm wasn't perfect. It must be remade. We need to see how much stone he's gotten. So stone is usually either a tower rush or... Okay, he does not have enough for the second TC quite yet. He's very, very close to it. Uh, we could wheelbarrow it. Don't know if that's worth. Give me the English farm bill. You know a game I'm kind of getting an itch to play lately has been... Uh... Ah! Has been uh, Minecraft. I used to play that so much. Oh wow, he's actually tower rushing me. Shit, are you kidding me? Some weird shit. Well, I guess that's happening, so we'll just go back here. And then uh, we can go ahead and wall this shit. Can we get a turn in, please? Well, that's what I get for being a little bit lazy with my scouts, huh? Yeah, he's not going to get away with that one, that's for sure. The villagers ain't going to fly, let that stand. Oh, wow, he's actually, like, barricading in front of my base. That's some crazy shit. Yeah, it's fine. We have a, we have a fat gold vein back there. Yeah, and this guy can just chill out, and then we can pull you guys in. So we need to just get a couple Strailbora. Okay, Strailbora. Keep hustling out. Very annoying, for sure. Really not super impactful, though. We should be able to get some men-at-arms out here soon. Oh, man, my, my build has just been so janky right now. So we got the one longbowman. Let's get the scouts in there to see. I think he's built a hand cannon emplacement. So yeah, it looks like he maybe had the intent of doing a tower rush or something. But our gold is totally fine. So that's good. Um, let's keep producing bills. Do the wheelbarrow. So that's, I'd rather see that than, you know, a second fast TC from him, for example. Yeah, now he's not going to get this up. Just a casual tower at the front of my base, I know. Okay, scouts come up and around and try and torch this. Do a little scoot and mining, which is pretty hilarious. And you take that on. I'm just going to lose the scout back here. Okay, I'm cool with that. And just to make sure there's no other cheesy shenanigans, we'll do that. Great, so we just killed the scout. I'm happy about that. And our gold looks good. Just got to save up a little bit and we'll just push down these towers here. I am the Lord of Supply Block. Nobody can take that title away from me. Oh my god, really? He's like towering in the back of my base too? This is a madman, I say. How annoying is this? Okay. So let's creep back here. I like how we're just getting this like random, random business here. Oh my god, yeah, he's got like towers all over the place. His villagers creeping in. We're still going to get Castle, and then I'll just build a bunch of men at arms and take all these down. Okay, he's only got a couple left. I don't think he even has a hand cannon slit on this one yet. Oh, he does. Okay. And he managed to get that one up. Okay. So let's get our men at arms on the way. As long as our gold is still functional, then we're okay, I think. Okay, let's blast you guys. See what we can do. I don't think he sees the villagers here with his towers. Okay, so they're on standby. Now you just have to listen to the annoying attack animation sounds. Yeah, these guys aren't being shot right now, so technically nothing is being accomplished there. Let's pull you guys in. Just make sure they're sitting and watching. Uh, I probably should go siege engineering. Although I feel like enough men at arms will just simply do the trick. All right, so King's Palace now. Really hasn't obstructed us that much. See, he doesn't have the vision. And let's get this as well. 
Yeah, this is very normal. This is very normal what you're seeing here, what this guy's doing. This is like very common. But thankfully, I think we're pretty good. Like I think we're we're cozy. Let's wall that off so there's no like weird funny business. Is there any other wood we could mine on this side? Honestly, this is like it. All like all our wood is potentially almost compromised. I see him creeping that villager there, see? He wants it. So eventually we'll just get a ton of men at arms. And uh, hopefully be able to push this down. Alright, are we losing bills? No. Yeah, our wood is fine. He doesn't have vision here, so we can't see my wood villagers. That's that's the, the win for us. And once we get a bunch of men at arms, we'll be able to bunker this out. We'll just get like like 20 of them and just push out and we'll be fine. Yeah, see he can't quite see us and I'm sure it's, it's haunting his soul. Okay, King's Palace is up. Let's go get on this. Get the villagers going. Strangely enough, we're kind of behind on food a little. Shucks. So let's uh, just hit these berries. How's the front looking? Yeah, same old. We need a lot more food though. I guess we could just cancel some bills. And you guys can come jump on this. Elite Castle Age Men at Arms. Yeah, this is very normal. Chinese players do this because they get the hand cannon emplacements. So is he actually able to see through there now? He is. Okay. So we have to abandon ship now. And he still manages to get castle behind it, which is pretty impressive. One, two, three. Let's get those men at arms coming out. Do I want to get rams? Not really. I think just mass men at arms, like bullying these towers down with torches. But we can set up like our wood infrastructure somewhere else. So far, so good, though. We're still mining gold. We've taken some minor eco losses. Not the end of the world. Probably want to get a marketplace. We might eventually have to trade for some of that stuff. Um, how's our wood looking out here? Actually, not bad. Actually, not bad. Let's turn some of you guys in. Come out here. Let's just set up some haggard wood mining operations there. Trying to stay calm under the pressures is a big thing. But once we can free up that wood, that'll be pretty nice. Men at arms are coming. He's Castle Age. The problem is he might be able to just go Imperial behind this. Hopefully not. Because, like, I'm kind of losing map control and he's probably going to get all the relics and shit. Uh, Siege Engineering, yeah. Thank you. And uh, thankfully this is going well here. We have that little operation that he's not aware of. How's our eco? 45? Nah, not amazing. I don't know if this is enough to actually take this down. Let's see. So let's get you guys to go and push this. Push here. We got 30 on food. So let's see if we can get this tower down now. What the hell's going on over here? There's just like some random ass tower. Yeah, it said I was being attacked there, but can't confirm or deny. Yeah, I think he's got a tower over there. This guy's like just has a fat heart on for towers, it would seem. Okay, so we lost our scouts there, but it looks like that tower is going to get uh, dismantled. Which is good. We could even go Imperial. Yeah, see, he's got like a bunch of random towers around. I don't think he actually has any units, though. So let's get you guys coming back into the base here. And then we can move up and... Uh, yeah, there we go. So they're starting to make some progress. And we can just take our old gold back. Okay, perfect. Good job, team. And now we move in and jump on this bad boy. Hopefully we have enough. You know, it'd probably be better just to build a battering arm real quick. Look at this. He's like actually walling my villagers out. It's so funny. Alright, so let's get the ram. Should be ready in a minute. And then, you know, maybe we go for another TC or something. It's hard to say. Let's buy some wood. Set up some farms here. Ooh, man. Okay. How are we looking here? Oh, these villagers got a little bit ornery. 
so they can just come down here and chill. All right, Ram's going to go. That should clean it up pretty quick. Yeah, let's get the battle cloud upgrade. It's very, very good for the men at arms. And yeah, our wood operation should be back in business now. We clear this. Let's go finish the palisades here. And we just kind of push out in the middle of the map slowly. I, I don't know how invested he is in this. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Like, he could show up with some shit, like, and I just, like, would just be totally, totally in trouble. But I feel like it's a pretty sizable little investment, for sure. Let's just go, like, run back here and see if we can get into his base. See what the hell happens. Yeah, then we push this tower out. Yeah, Delhi crushed it today. We, we didn't really lose too much with Delhi, that's for sure. We lost one game. Uh, he's probably going to get crossbows, I would imagine. All right, so we're pretty secure there now. I think we just go Imperial England. Just kind of like turtle and slow push out. Like, that sounds really good to me. All right, so up you go, up you go. Go give him a little bit of love. And yeah, let's just save for Imperial Age. Yeah, that's a lot of stony invested, guys. That is a lot. Plus, we have the attack speed now. Hmm. So, let's see how that goes. Let's kind of set up some towers of our own. Start pushing out. The men at arms getting ready to party. Get some eco upgrades. The broken thing is China can easily go 2 TC fast castle after this. That's pretty. Yeah, he got castle super quickly. I was actually really surprised how quick he did. But England is one of those civs that I feel we can certainly defend with and uh, potentially hold on. If anybody can hold like something like this, it's gonna be it's gonna be England. Okay, so we got a lot of eco upgrades. Let's run into his base. We can even just send the battering ram out and just keep our men at arm safe in case he's got an army that can just crush mine. I, I gotta be careful. Is that thing really shooting me from the low ground? That's so troll. All right, so we're just gonna hang back. Very close to Imperial Age. Uh, definitely gonna go Windguard. Because I'm not super invested either. Okay, what do we need? 2,400 food? Oh, wow. Mass Nest of Bees. Okay, interesting. So let's get you. Let's go for the uh, Wind Guard. And as far as dealing with the Nest of Bees, uh, maybe a bunch of horsemen, actually. And uh, yeah, this is gonna, it's going to be pretty difficult, actually. He had a lot of Nest of Bees. That's the bees and crossbows, okay. So horsemen will counter both of those. Just kind of move up a little bit. We have Imperial coming, and we can get the English farm enclosures, and hopefully that'll do something for us, and then we can kind of start focusing a little bit on uh, on stone here. Let's do that. Get some spring alden placements to counter the, uh, the push that's inevitably coming. He's got all the relics on the map because I've been pinned in, so he has that advantage. But, you know, I have the English. The advantage of being English. Um, yeah, let's go hit the wood. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be hard to get. Spring in placement. Okay, the new age begins. Now we have we have Windmore Palace. Uh, first things first, we have to get the farm enclosures upgrade. What do we need, wood for that? Yeah, 150 wood, okay. So we got a couple springs. So if he tries to move in there, you know, hopefully we're cozy. I would imagine there's going to be some cheese coming from all sorts of directions. Uh-huh. Start getting some horsemen. I think a big horseman raid would be very effective. We'll, we'll get spring alts too. Yeah. All sorts of stuff. But really, win, win more palaces is, is what we want. Because I am happy to just kind of play the English mini game here. Okay, we need 150. Farm enclosures on the way. Uh, we need to hit wood very hard. Okay, so horsemen are on their way too. Good. Strelbora, probably not super useful here, although they are good against crossbowmen. They are very good against crossbowmen. Uh, we don't have too much space to work with, honestly. He's got to get that that defensive defensive business going. Yeah, he's got all the relics, which really sucks. And he's probably going to get pagodas. That's my fault for not having my scouts in a good position. You know, he made me pay for that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Just got to be really greedy here. You guys notice I'm not building a lot of military. 
because I'm uh, I'm essentially trying to uh, just just get as much value as I can out of the farms and the villager production. Even though he's Chinese, so he's probably just doing it better than me. Um, I think we got to do this. And yeah, Wingard will be here, and I'm gonna start getting trebuchets, which will just counter his his little trolley operation there. Okay, we're gonna get elite horsemen. Once we get a bunch, we can go out and do something. I don't want to show my hand, but he's he's obviously expecting Wingard. He's still only Castle Age, so. Yeah, now we're getting English Farm Bill. Now it's going to be sweet. How's our e eco count? Yeah, we got a bunch of idle villagers. Just random trolling down there. Pretty hilarious. Windguard Palace should always be just queuing shit up. Just always. Come on, guys. Give me the goodies. So we'll do a little run by later, maybe. We'll just kind of slow push them out, I think. All right, so grab you guys. Come up. Where's the sacred sites? Yeah, he's, he's getting control of those. Need to save up a little bit of lumber. That's going to be the elite horseman. Nice. So there's his imperial. So I don't know what kind of upgrades he's looking at, but we will uh, we will slowly move out. Set you up like right here. Let's make sure we get that gold. And now we need to just build military infrastructure. Perfect. I have no idea where the nest of bees is. Start getting some e upgrades. Got that down. Let's go get our trebuchet to start blasting here. And go see if we can deny the sacreds right now. We need to get the elite men at arms. Oh, no, it's spearmen. Well, spearmen could be useful too. This guy just loves his, uh, his, his business here, huh? Okay, so that's good. So one sacred site is nullified. Let's go loop around, see if we can do a little bit of a raid into his base. Trebuchet, go attack here, please. How's our eco count looking? Pretty good. All right, we're getting better. Probably want to get our longbows ready at some point, too. So this guy will decap that, and then he'll go decap the other one as well. And let's run into the back of his base here. Oh, hello. Just a wild bombard cannon chilling here. I don't know if I'll be able to get it. We'll try. That's a pretty good pick, though. Killing a bombard cannon for a couple horsemen is really nice. Nice. That's a that's a big W for us. Alright, let's move you guys out. Uh, get the elite longbowmen. Get you guys going. Get that going. Looking good. Set up more farms back here. We need to just keep moving up with some of you guys so we can start getting a foothold on the battlefield. And eventually, yes, springs too are probably going to be nice. That is a lot of nested bees, man. That is a shit ton of nested bees. We have the dreaded trebuchets. Look at that. Almost one shotting one of those, actually. He can run into the emplacements all he wants. We need to get Shattering Projectiles. That's like one of the best upgrades in the game. It's crazy good. Yo, he actually has a lot of Spring Alts. Maybe we don't bother with the Springs ourselves. Can we actually reach? Let's see if he's paying attention here. Okay. I love it. That's so funny. Uh, let's get Network. Citadel of Castles for the extra attack speed. Quite a, quite a ferocious little battle here. This is like, England is the Civ to play from this position. Not that you want to be, because it's kind of a losing position, but it's uh, it's still still good. All right, so Shattering Projectiles, what, 300? All right, let's try another raid. Let's just run by and see what he wants to do. Uh, Leap Men at Arms, yeah, need to get that. Okay, so let's do this. Go shut that down. Is he, what, is he, what is he shooting us with here? A bombard cannon, probably? Is he a burning oil there? Mm. No, not knights. Horsemen, please. And more stables. He always has that little opening in his base, which is good. So we're able to kind of creep back here with some horsemen and take a little bit of pressure off ourselves. 
All right, let's take this down. Let's go see what's going on in the Farmville back here. All right, get you guys going there. Perfect. Can't complain about that. And uh, we need elite army tactics for our men-at-arms. Ooh, he's taking a fair amount of eco damage here, actually, but so am I, because I'm not paying attention. Nice. Okay, so let's get you guys to go die back here, and then just move through them. Do this. Let's repair this. Okay, looks fine. And, uh, yep. Ah, uh, not going badly, actually. He's losing a lot of artillery, but homie's got so many relics. We need to target the nest of bees. Those are the those are the problem children. All right, back you go. Yeah, we have our Windguard Palace, our Windmore Palace. Yeah, okay, that wasn't a terrible trade action. We killed a hell of a lot of artillery. Can creep you guys into the base here. Uh huh. Okay, let's get you guys out. You guys have finished your job here. We'll just keep piling in and see if we can overwhelm them with just weight of haggard shit. Oh, nice. We actually have an undefended little position here. Okay, so now we got to chase down this artillery because that's a really expensive pocket of things. All right, so get you and you. Yeah, he's taking eco losses here also. Maybe eventually he'll run, he'll run out of shit on the map. Uh, we need to get our longbows upgraded, yeah. Get all those goodies going. Oh, wrong button, shit. Nope, nope, back you go. Back you go, buddy. Okay. No, 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 Windguard Palace, you need to keep winning. Did we get Shattering Projectiles? We didn't, okay. That was, that's a big mistake. Uh huh. Gather some stone here. I think he actually killed my market, the one that was up on the hill. That's pretty meme. Oh my god, he's literally just massing artillery. There's nothing else in his army. Okay. You guys, uh, let's just get you on some trees, I guess. It's really awkward. Our economy is so strange at the moment. Okay, pull you guys back. Just go hit these berry bushes. Just get us some food. Because we have the gold. We need to just get a critical mass of units that can overwhelm his artillery. Did we rebuild that market? Did we? Oh my god. I just have no wood income either. Ah, this is rough. It's rough. We're definitely in a losing position. Do we have any, like, straggler trees around that I can grab? A couple here. Alright, blast those. I need to get a market so I can trade. I need to get a market. Alright, so let's just charge our, our cab forward. Get a couple of you guys going there. Oh my god, how is he affording all this artillery? It's insane. Okay. Do we actually do any damage there? Did we kill any? I think we did. We killed a couple spring alts at least. God damn. Like, because there's no way we're going to catch up in terms of, uh, you know, traditional elements of things. The tower rush was just so strong. I don't know how we stop. Yeah, I guess we just have to scout better. This is just so much artillery. Okay, let's try and get this going. Got a couple random villagers doing God knows what over here. Take down the spring alds, I guess. Yeah, there's no way. He's got too many nest of bees. He's got way too many nest of bees. I mean, I could do a villager pull, but... Yeah, that tower rush is so cheesy. Is Ma yeah, Mass Horseman would be the counter to this, but I just don't have enough money to get enough. It's just... He's he's literally building just, just artillery, nothing else. Oh my god. Well, I guess I have to just be more vigilant about the uh, tower rushes. And that's pretty much that. Oh my god, GG. Dude, that was some next level. Next level. My god, it, it look, it, it's pretty horrible to play against, <laughs> I can assure you. Oh my god, that was rough. Yeah, well, China Imperial is very good, but England can totally fight them. But the tower contain, the tower contain was just so nasty. We couldn't get relics. We were like really, like we had to yield gold to him. And like the stone towers with China are worse. 
because they have the hand cannon, so they can actually kill men at arms and things like that. Well, anyways, we still made progress today. Overall, let's see. What? How do we do today? Let's look. Oh, dude. Oh my God, it's just, it's just pure cheese. I know. So we we lost. No, we won three. I think. Let's look. Which ones are today? Today is what day? The 29th? Is this ranked? Why doesn't it say ranked? Oh, there we go. One, two, three. We won four and then lost our last two. Yeah. Or do we go five and two? Mm, rating was hard though, because yeah, I mean, I, I guess I could have gone horsemen. Let's, let's see what that looks like from his perspective. I'm actually kind of curious. Is this the game we just played? Or is that the one from before? No, that was HRE. It doesn't look like it's loaded in yet. Yeah, it's hard. Well, it's kind of, yeah, it seems strong with China too because the hand cannon towers and they also build towers so quickly. Tower rush plus mass artillery. This is the worst. Yeah, it seems very strong. I think I have to um, scout better number one. Like I should have seen his four villagers coming. I should have seen him coming. Yeah, because I could have stopped him. Like England has the villager pull, but he already had several towers set up. He was very sneaky. He was very, very sneaky with the towers. Anyways, um, okay, so you guys have voted you want the uh, Mega Random FFA. Do we want uh, play slash cast? All right, you guys can vote. Uh, with my crashes, do you want me? Hey, Ezekiel, it's totally up to you, man. You can try again, but, you know, a seven-man FFA isn't that bad. So it's not too bad. Yeah, maybe, maybe aggressive, just like longbow all in Chinese players. Yeah, Longbow Allen would have beaten him for sure, because I would have just had Rams and he would have just gotten gotten punished there. But tower rushing, man, that's something that my we that's one weakness. I can usually macro with people very well, but dealing with tower rushes is something I'm very bad at. I gotta work on that. I gotta practice. I need to play more people like that. The dreaded tower cheese. I was watching a couple people stream and a lot it seems that the consensus is that towers are kind of obnoxious. Like a lot of people don't like it. Yeah. I'm down to do either. If you guys want me to cast or play, whatever you prefer, I'll let it run for a minute. I'm going to go get some water and uh, we'll be back. Yeah, I know that the cool thing about casting is we can see everything. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I've returned to the Thunderdome. It is time. Uh, what does it look like? Oh, dude, are you guys seriously 50-50? I get back to the shit, and it's a 50-50 vote. Oh, my God. How dare you? Seeing the diplomacy is pretty big. Okay. Either way, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to do some fun stuff, no matter what we do. So let's make it one more minute here. One more minute. Okay. I have my timer running. We'll keep tabs. Let's see what you guys choose. The dreaded 50-50. I can play one more game. It's not going to be too hard on my hands. Like, it doesn't start hurting until, like, the four-hour mark, usually. Keep him 50-50 and make me decide. Oh, my God. You guys you guys are out of control. You guys want to see some of the, the politics, huh? The schemes. Fat schemes. 
Okay, wow. Looks like you guys want uh, you want it to be played. Okay. So, I will be hosting. Please, for the love of the Dark Gods, do not crash. I love the democracy. Yeah, I wasn't going to come back from that. All right, so it is going to be turn FFA. And you guys wanted Mega Random, right? Yeah. Okay, so we'll do Mega Random. Not going to do Nomad this time, though. And you know what else we're going to do? We're going to make everybody play Random. Okay, everyone has to pick Random. It'll be fun, guys. It'll be fun. Don't worry. <laughs> Misha, it's democracy. Everyone has to go random. All random sieves. All right, Professor, we'll see if you can make it. Hopefully you can. Everyone has to go random sieves. Oh, you think you're going to play what you're comfortable with? No. No, my sweet summer child. We are all going to suffer here. Random sieves? Okay, Professor. Professor, yeah, it's good, good. And only one person's on auto, so it should be fine. Stanley. Stanley will be on a team by himself. All right, guys. All random. Yeah, it's all random. We'll see what we get. Yeah. <laughs> Salami had a funny reaction when he found out his opponent in the tournament had 100,000 more gold. Yeah. I would imagine so, my friend. We'll, uh, what I'll do is one of the next streams I do, guys, will be an FFA only stream. So it'll be like, we'll do like five, four or five FFAs. And if you play in one, you won't be able to play in the other. So it'll get like new people in every time. Oh, that would actually be a fun format for FFAs. We do like four small FFAs on a stream and then we have the winner of each one uh, go to a four man final. Hmm. That sounds like, that sounds like kind of a fun way to do it. Definitely sounds fun. What did I get? Oh, where am I? Oh, I got deli. Hell yeah, dude. Give me give me the deli shop. I'm all about that. That's great. So we'll see. We'll go for some wonders and some dumbos and it's gonna be great. Am I really the last one to load? Oh no, I'm battling I'm battling Stanley here. Our potatoes are locked in eternal war. Alright, so let's go let's go scouting around, see what we can find. Oh, we got a corner spawn. Although, no, wait, it's a normal. It's a, yeah. it's a mega random, I guess. So, I should just stick to playing Delhi and just get really good at them. Just like have them be the sieve I try and get conquer with. Yeah, Delhi's a pretty bad FFA sieve, but they're super cool, so it doesn't matter. You can still win with them. You can still win. Why did I know he's gonna get Delhi? Because the elephants believe in us, dude. Elephants never forget. They always remember the transgression it's against them. Ooh, a nice little spot for a wonder up there, perhaps, in the corner. Nice bit of stone. Should I just tower rush someone just to take out all my all my anger from last game of just getting wrecked by a Chinese tower rush? I think I think it might be time. Hmm. So yeah, we'll keep gathering sheep. Do you want to find out where the relics are? I love getting all those free upgrades at Delhi. It's such a good feeling. You don't have to like pay gold for that, you just get to click it. Dude, I got yeah, I got cheese pretty hard. He didn't want to face me in open war, so just the, the haggard towers it was. I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, good luck. It doesn't matter. Nobody nobody truly knows what they're doing in FFA games. It's just pure anarchy usually. All right, can we get a wood turn in, please? Have not found any relics. I'm gonna leave space around the TC for farms this time. I gotta I gotta be better about that. Oh, someone's going to be eating a jelly meat sandwich, I can assure you. I don't know who, but somebody's going to get the Wrath of Dumbo. Oh, there's actually water here. Okay, that kind of changes things a little bit. That certainly changes the paradigm. Uh, let's see if there's any fish, though. I'm not seeing any fish. Looks like an empty river. Interesting. If we can find some fish. Okay, there's some shoreline fish. Shoreline fish. Let's see if there's actually a crossing here. Oh, and look at this. We actually have a uh, yummy here. Okay. So we do have a player down there chilling out. Okay, probably a little bit too hard on wood, but the reason why I'm doing wood is because of the fishing. So we'll send you down here. We're going to be slightly delayed in our tech, but I think it's worth. Yeah, I see, I see a fair line. Yeah, there's three fish here, so if we just set up right there, that's going to be pretty prime time. All right, looks great. Now we just pour on to 
No, oh, looks like we had a scout nearby. It's just a scout. Dude, the Dumbos are coming. Fear their wrath. Fear the wrath of Dumbo. Yeah, it's pretty cool as Delhi. You don't need to mine too much gold. Aside from the scholars. So, Dome of Faith. That's why you have to have Dome of Faith, though. It's kind of an unfortunate little, little thing there. Alright, you do this. Let's just keep scouting. So we know where one of our, our glorious friends is. Set up the dock. I feel like it's worth doing the dock here, guys. We need an agent of chaos. Oh, I can assure you there is one. The dreaded Patty is not... I don't think he's in this game, so... We've been found by Kirk. He is eyeing us like a piece of meat running by our TC. Might lose a scout here. No, it looks like he's good. Uh, so we have our other Delhi friend here. All right, very cool. So we have a fellow Delhi enjoyer. That direction. How's our, our water operation going? You guys can head here for now. Pretty close to getting there. We're slightly... We're going to have a slow feudal age because of the water. That always sets you back a little ways. I don't know where Nelosi is today. Yeah, Nelosi, maybe maybe he's watching. Who knows? Scheming for the next FFA tournament, I'm sure. Yummy drops. Oh, no. That's weird. Yeah, maybe there's some issues today. If we, if we do have a drop, though, we might just have to call it after that, unfortunately, because, you know, it seems like there may be something going around. So Yummy was this player. So my neighbor has been karate chopped by uh, their internet, it would seem. Okay, so slightly delayed Dome of Faith. Not a big deal. Dude, Patty is a champion. Yeah, oh yeah, he played great. That was super fun watching him play. Let's just get the votes going. We see our Salvatore friend here. Only two relics on the map, so definitely disappointed about that. We're going to actually get a really fast castle because of the uh, cause of the the fishing. Yeah, so Yummy dropped. I'm in the corner. How are you, Patrick? Oh, it's, it's Patty. He's here. Oh, God. I'm going to have a sneeze. Oh, no. It's going to be a big one. Oh, goodness. I'm fighting it. Oh. Okay. It's subsided, but I feel like it's going to return in greater numbers. Uh, someone built men-at-arms army for me. Oh, wait, did somebody, like, did Yummy actually get killed by some weird Dark Age shit? I don't know. That's, I mean, you never know. You never freaking know, man. I haven't been able to find any sacreds, which is a bummer. Oh, there's only... Guys, there's only one sacred site. There's only one sacred site. Oh, man. Okay. Things are getting real, real uh, wild here. So I actually do have to mine gold then. I can't just rely on sacreds. Here it is, too. Oh, man. You guys see the one sacred? Do we go for it? Do we go for the sacred victory? Just throw some palisades around it. Oh, hold up. Hmm. I have some plans, actually. Okay. So let's let that finish and then just get Sanctity. We're not in a rush for it this game, so. Cool. All's well in the realm. All's calm. We see our lovely sacred operation there. Um, let's go look for more relics. One sacred site. There's only one. I could go set up a tower near it right now, which would be quite funny. So it's basically like open field king of the hill. You know? Just straight up wild shit. Uh, let's get this. I wonder if there's going to be any rushes coming. Eh, you never know. Could get the extended fishing lines. We'll get that next because we don't need more fishing boats at this point. We just don't. Okay, so somebody walled. Okay, so there's like a giant river separating us here. We will go set up shop. King of the River FFA. Yeah, this is kind of cool, actually. I like this map a bit. I think it's pretty fun. A little bit too much on wood, though. So, all right, let's get you guys going. We'll just be the lord of, uh, you know, Delhi macro today. We we'll definitely want to get... I see three relics on the board right now. It's probably going to be hard to get more than that. Yeah, as long as we have three scholars, we should be able to get it. So we got the upgrade coming out here. Should be done in a couple minutes. Fast castles on the way. Switch over to gold. We got the two upgrades there. 
And is there going to be any funny business here? We should probably check. We'll just, you know, say what's up there. A little unfortunate. I was hoping to have more sacred sites. I was definitely looking to have more. Is this deli player going to be aggressive? So we need to get this information right now. Oh no! I've been discovered! Super Munchkin is watching. Oh. Alright, let's go rescue our character here. We might be able to get that up. That's what she said. Um, we'll have to see. Just go for like some super janky fast castle stone build or something. You see? Look guys, look at chat. You guys see the see the politics going on? I love it, dude. That's that's what makes FFA gr great. <laughs> this early? Why would I do that, dude? Why would I do that? We can even get a little military ship there too. He accuses me of uh, yeah, getting it. Yeah, we're gonna go. We're gonna age up here. All right, so let's grab you guys. Do this. Hundred percent compound of the defender because that's just the the coolest landmark ever. And did we finish the fishing nets? We did. Cool. Let's grab you. We could even do stone walls in the river. The Dumbos will come, but... Alright, let's get you on that relic. You on this one. And then we can get you on this one. Alright, so we should be good. Should get that set up. Let's get another uh, mosque going as well. Cue you guys up. I do have the Sanctity. The Evil Dead stream, you enjoyed it? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I suck so bad at that game though, man. Oh my god, I'm terrible at it. But it's still a blast, you know. We still had a, still had a great time. Okay, so we have a little bit of stone now. You lady can uh, wall the river. And the relics will be ours. Yeah, it's good. And we need to get the Castle Age upgrades too. And then you grab this. Let's get you guys to drop these bad boys off. Might as well get the Archer upgrades in the meantime. Okay, let's get all the Deli upgrades. Take them to the Deli shop. So we'll grab this, and then we will actually maybe grab the sacred side as a bit of a meme here. It's going to be pretty hilarious. Because, you know, we need the gold, so. Screw it. Do we just, like, plop a keep down over there? Holy shit, that would, ju that would just be a super, super turbo manly, uh, manly play there. All right, we got a couple relics. Feeling good about that. I do want to get a Dumbo out, though, pretty quick, if we can. Our food is not great. We have this, like, deer camp out here. Let's just like keep a scout nearby. Hmm. Let's not take it yet. It's just it's too it's too haggard. It's just too janky to take that right now. It would just be asking to get wrecked, basically. Oh, I actually don't have too much food near me aside from this berry bush here. Okay, so let's get you. We're doing that so we can uh, research the village fortress. Mm, and then we would want to get a couple more of you guys. We're actually playing like late game Delhi here, so we're going to try and play for the late game. Castle Age being reached by a bunch of folks. We got three relics. I don't see any more on the map, so, you know, going to have to just roll with that. Can't can't have it our way all the time. We got the wall off on the river. There's no other way across here. Uh, and the other crossing is right up here, so let's wall that. Grab a couple of you. Head over here. See what sort of funny business we can get into. All right, that's way too much on this. We need to go hit these berry bushes. Because our river fishing is going to kind of run dry a little bit. That's the problem with it. We're being very greedy, though. Like, very turbo greedy. Why are deli keeps... Are deli keeps cheaper? I don't know if they are. Yeah, Army of Darkness was a great movie. Yeah, you guys talking about it. Oh, I love it. So good. All right, let's drop this off. Homeboy's getting that relic, so he's gonna return this. 
have these ones being filled up. So let's get the village fortress and the burning oil. Get a spring emplacement there. These guys like trapped or some shit? I don't know what's going on there. Okay. Well, anyways, it would appear they might be trapped. All right, team. The river wall. I know the river walls are going to be good. Come forth, my minions. The first of many jumbos is rising. One, two, three, four. Yep, let's just kind of slowly switch into some farms. Three relics, not bad. Not bad. We have a decent little mosque infrastructure too, so hopefully that will uh, allow us to actually get some research. That's right, compound of the defender makes them cheaper. It's, I should know this, but I just always forget little things like that. Such a cool landmark, dude. Such a cool landmark. Okay, we need to like hit gold now too. Okay, let's grab a bunch of you woodworkers. Have you guys come down here, so turn in and then down there. Yeah, because right now we can only make like one Dumbo, right? And did we drop that relic off? We did. So the next scholar with Dumb of Faith, we'll send him over here to grab this. We'll get real crazy. It's happening, guys. The moment of truth. All right, homie. Yeah, because people are still just reaching... Some people are just reaching Castle Age like just now. So that's uh, that's pretty good for us. And even if they take the Sacred Site, at least it uh, at least it buys me a little bit of time, right? And I think we got through that stone pretty hard, yeah. We'll go Imperial. We're going to go Imperial Delhi. But not until we build a couple Dumbos. Great. Probably should get more TCs also. This is very wild, but I want to make it entertaining for you guys. So we're gonna we're gonna do it. Do we have any stone nearby? Looks like we do. Perfect. Okay, the first of the Dumbo Legion arrives. Castle Age from the Empyrean. That's a very late Castle Age. Fourteen minutes. He must have had a, a weird spawn or something. There's like several platinum and high-level players in this game, so I don't think this is going to fly, but you know. Oh, hey, there's a relic there. Nice. We'll go grab that after. And uh, you guys need to go finish these walls. Okay. Buy some of this. Build a TC here. So we got a we got a macro up, even though we're playing Delhi and we're kind of cozy. Let's get our elephants over there. Some more fishing up river. We can use our haggard Delhi boats as like river patrol. Is there any fish up river? Yes. So just a casual hangout here. We're just chilling. We do have our Dumbos on the way. There's still two people in Feudal, exactly. No, there are three Sacreds. See, the big the big turn politics are on their way in. We have to really, really trick them with the mind games. Okay, Scout, you can... These sheep can waddle back to the base. We'll see if they make it. All right, guys, the plot thickens. Uh, we need to do this. And then we can wall from the river. Oh, man. Okay, someone actually got taken out. You know what? I, I might actually just win this. Like, straight up. I might actually just straight up get this. I'm not even going to go all in on it either. Because we've already had a couple people eliminated. Okay, there's fishing here. That's good. Yeah, not going Imperial. All right, let's get you guys on stone here. It's going to take them a minute to get there, but that's fine. Let's get a Spring Alden placement. And upgrades are coming along. We have a nice, nice little uh, operation going. And we did get the Village Keep. Nice. So now we can... I wish there was a better hotkey for this. We can get some bills coming out there. All right, team. Seems to be going pretty good. Let's start building some more proper infrastructure. We got somewhat of a farm bill going. <laughs> stop, stop the count. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh every time. Oh my god. 
Oh, demo ships? Oh, why don't we get a Bagla? Yeah, that's actually pretty sweet. Okay, so let's hit you guys. And uh, yeah, like warships in the river, because they can actually reach the, uh, the sacred site on this map. Oh, man. He's got a big army. It looks like mostly spearmen and like archers and shit. So our Dumbos should wreck that army. Let's go grab this relic and come back. The, the elephants are very upset right now. You can hear them. Can you guys fish, please? Ah, eh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just delete these stupid boats. Get our supply freed up a little bit. I wonder who's going to try and stop me here. Look, look, look. There's some Zhugnu coming here. But the Baglaz of Doom will patrol the river. Yeah, it's good. Good. Secure the realm, Anakin. Let the hate flow. We need to just crush this, this deli here, too. Before he gets a little bit too crazy. He maybe is going to my base? I do have five Dumbos. Five Dumbos will absolutely wreck this army. Uh-huh. Seems to be good. He's, he hears the footsteps of the elephants and he flees before their might. Okay, let's get some houses. Well, seems to be going okay. Can we not fit through there? Oh, we actually can't fit through. I walled the river too well. You know what? That's fine. It can hold here. It looks like there might be some backstabbing and machinations. Stanley's Stanley's not making friends. This deli player sees the might of Dumbos. Look, the Empyrean is like, so are people ready to attack? Yes, the alliance is falling apart. Good, good. Dude, this is just straight up Palpatine shit right now. Put another keep right here. Uh, we can also build some of these. Stanley just got Imperial Age. Stanley is... I don't know where Stanley is. Let's get some like good warships here. We're not like all in on this either. If they stop me, it's like I'm still fine, I think. Just kind of waiting to see what threats emerge. Okay, let's get you guys. Mine some more stone. So what we want to do here is get you guys out, and then we want to queue up a bunch of scholars. Get these scholars to come heal the Dumbo Legion. He says he's coming now, if someone wants to help. They're slowly learning the tricks. Okay. So once the Scholar Legion gets here, we, we go for it. Uh-huh. Oh man, he's just got a bunch of longbows. Oh, he's actually got a pretty good army. I think we can hold it from inside though. Let's just pull this over here and set this up. And now we need to get our warships here with the Spring Alden placements. Alright, so here he comes. A couple of villagers kind of getting karate chopped. No problem. Let's attack. Because you have the burning oil as well. Build that shit. Seems to be going okay, although the rams are going to get in, unfortunately. He's probably going to be able to shut this down. The six Dumbos are definitely causing some problems. Oh man, they can't fit through the walls there. That's weird. That's very weird. Okay, let's get the bills in there. Okay, I think we can just hold this with just villagers, actually. Yeah, look, we even have the warships in the river. How funny is that? Get the Dumbos onto the sacred site. We don't care about losing the bills. We got plenty of plenty of action. The Dumbos just stomp everything here, I think. Uh-huh. Oh, just feel the wrath of Dumbo. And the Baglaz as well. So the other Dumbo player is cutting us off, which is very smart. Very well played there. But we'll have another keep up soon, I think. Okay. Set some guys up there. 
Is he going to get it? I don't think so. Ooh, that's rough for them. The keep survives too. Hey, I still got all my Dumbos. I don't think my Scholars made it either. Set this up. You guys like the little, like, haggard coastal situation here? Guys. <laughs> oh god, they're getting very ornery here. He says, someone help, please. Uh, we should cancel that. Okay, we just need to survive, basically. So he's got some Dumbos and shit. We got some Men-at-Arms. I think we can repair through this. I don't think that's a huge deal. Okay. Seems good. We got another keep coming up here. Also, more uh, production. We have the Navy of the Gods. Is there any upgrades we can get for them? Yeah, whatever. Just get these. A lot of people are Imperial Age now, so I just have to find a way to hold. Let's get you guys in. Crossbows. So, yeah, look, somebody's coming from across the river. But are they aware of the dread fleet of Turin? Okay, elephants, you guys. Just set up more keeps, please. Okay, I think our base is safe. We got 32 out of workers just chilling out somewhere. Where did they just finish? Oh, they just finished on the wood lines, I guess? Go, Dreadfleet! Go, my elephants! Look at the Dreadfleet. Okay, let's get back. I don't, I don't have any way of like making reinforcements here, so this is kind of like haggard. Oh, look, they're fighting amongst one another. Yes. Discord in the realm. My base is still under attack, but it looks like it's not a huge deal. All right, let's have you guys go help here. We got a bunch of idle bills here. I need you guys to just hit wood. He says make a hole in the walls. No. No, you will die. So the Dumbos are going to go try and shut it down. The funny thing about Delhi is is we can rebuild the walls like instantly with our troops here. So I just got to be watching. <laughs> Evil Palpatine laughs. Cue it up. You're not getting in. Oh, and the Dumbo's got all the goodies. Oh, that's so great. All right, let's cut, cut these upgrades out. Kind of running out of steam here a little bit. But I think we're fine. We only have to hold for 27 more seconds. Oh, oh god. The Dread Fleet. And the, the compound of the Defender OP. Dude, look at the Jumbos. They just wiped that whole army. I think we could hold this somehow, too. <laughs> the Imperium says cry. Oh, that's so funny, dude. Holy shit. Unlimited power. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this doesn't matter. We're fine. Woo, let's go. <laughs> The funniest part about that victory is that we like walled the river. So like the other armies were like struggling to get past the, the river. GG. Holy shit. Didn't realize turn had it, thought it was someone else. Oh, that's so funny, dude. That's so funny. Let's look around and see what everyone else looks like. Okay, so we had China down here. What were they doing? Were they like attacking the Mongols? Oh wow, look at this. There was actually a fight going down between these two players. So this is probably what cost them the game. If these two armies had come, I think they could have salvaged. But this, this position was prime time. The Dread Fleet here in the water, definitely very strong. Because they can just, like, anyone who actually got through, they would take, like, like a ton of fire from the Baglaz. The Compound of the Defender lets you build more keeps, too. So, <clears throat> that was a funny one, dude. The shortest FFA, how short was, how long was that game? Yeah, oh my god, yeah. We had some strong... I mean, I w if I had lost that, I probably would have lost the game. Like, we had several people in Imperial Age, and and this guy, this fine gentleman here was in my base, which I think I might have been able to hold with the keeps and stuff, but it was uh, it was scary. It was very scary. He might have been able to kill a lot of my base before I held that. So, yeah, it was, it was a shady game. 
Turin with the bluff. Why would I tower middle so early? I love democracy, dude. Yeah, of course. King of the River. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, if you enjoyed the stream overall, please do drop a like before you head on out. That's going to be it for today. I'm going to rest the hand. Um, but fear not. For any of you guys who didn't get enough today, I'll be back streaming Age of Empires again tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, I'll have an earlier stream. Because uh, tomorrow is a holiday. So the wife and I have, well, I've, I of course do this for a living. But she has a day off. So we're just going to stream in the morning and then, uh, yeah, do some FFAs, 1v1s, all that sort of good stuff. Yeah, half a corn. Nobody, you didn't, you did a really good job. You for sure. Your army was was pretty scary. It was pretty scary, but I couldn't believe it. When I saw there was one sacred site and it was also up against a river, I was like, holy shit, this is like going to be so good to defend. It's going to be so hard. <clears throat> but yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining. Big shout out to Ezekiel and Center for the donations. Thank you guys. Appreciate you all. Props to Professor Pone. He took it to turn after wearing he was going <laughs> to... What are you talking about? <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I, I wish Professor Pwn played this game. I'd love to play with him, but he 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 likes to he likes likes to watch. We have to let the boy watch. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with more age. Uh, also, Total War replays will be going up tomorrow. I have a, a pretty good Ogre Kingdoms replay, so there'll be something for everyone, which will be great. Well, you have a holiday tomorrow. I didn't know there was a oh, there's a Polish holiday as well, huh? That's cool. I'll have to ask Anna what it is. All right, guys. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Thank you all. Appreciate the help. To all the mods, shout out to you guys. Misha, Pone, thank you all. I think there's some other ones in chat as well. The only names I can see right now. Thank you guys. Take care. We'll see you next time. That's it for today. And uh, Sigmar bless these elephants.